<laughs> Hello. Uh, my name is Halkri, and uh, this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. It was released uh, almost a year ago, just just a few weeks shy of a year. Um, this is going to be the All Lords category, which is basically the any percent run minus the first 12 minutes, then minus the final hour. Um, I do have some commentators with me if they'd like to go introduce themselves, but uh, I do want to get the run started first. Um, I guess on my count, then. <clears throat> All right, three, two, one, go. All right, hooray, yay. Yeah, woo, woo. Happy birthday, Pokemon Legends Arceus, almost, by yay. the way. I just think it's important to, to call out birthdays when they happen. Also, I'm Corva Bay. I'm commentating this. And a happy kind of birthday to Kizaron, if we haven't said that yet. I mean, close enough. If Legends Arceus is close enough, then it's close enough to your birthday. I'm T-Pat. Uh, I'm also a Pokemon speedrunner. I really like this game and all the Switch Pokemon games. Hey, I'm a washed up speedrunner. I'm just here. <laughs> Same. No, you're not. You've been doing great this week. Learning Gen 1 again has been pain. You know what isn't pain, though? Legends Arceus. Uh, oh, no, it's still pain. It's pretty uh, pain. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we picked Syndical as our starter as a, you know the bid world of spoiled, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and name that right now anyways. Uh, T-Pat, do you want to explain why Syndical is the best for this, uh, this speedrun? Yeah, so of course we have uh, these three very unique starters in Syndical, Oshawott, and Rowlet. Syndical now Ooh. stands out. Yeah, three great, three great, but unique because they're not Gen 4 Pokemon. And this is technically the Sinnoh region, though way back in the past, so it's called Hisui. Anyways, Syndical now stands out as the best starter of the three because in the early part of the game, we're gonna want to gain a lot of experience early, and the best way to do that is to beat up a bunch of high-level beautiflies. And Cyndaquil is best equipped for that, not just because it's a fire type, but it has access to the move Rollout, which is not four times effective, it's weirdly two and a half times effective, but the whole battle mechanics of this game are kind of weird to begin with, so just roll with me. But uh, the, those two types of moves plus backstrikes will allow us to gain a whole lot of levels in the early game, thanks to Syndical being our starter of choice. We've got a lot of mechanics to explain because this game is very different mm -hmm. than your traditional Pokemon game. For example, yeah, you might so, have noticed um, Help okay. do a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, help do his best solid snake expression uh, ex impression right there. If you want to explain the reason for that. <laughs> yeah, so basically what happens um, when you run into a cutscene, most of the cutscenes in this game, uh, the game will wait for your character to be completely neutral in like movement and like posture before it'll start playing the cutscene. So the idea is the game to give the game like the shortest animation to work with. Um, running directly into a cutscene with you know no. You know, no alteration at all will result in this little like buckling animation where your character like comes to a complete and sudden halt out of their dash. However, um, if you crouch walk into a cutscene, all the game has to do is stand your character up, which is much faster um, than uh, you know running head on into the cutscene. It takes about a second every time you do it if you do it perfectly, and there's about thirty instances in the game, so it does add up slowly. Yeah, it, this is a Pokemon game, so we will be watching a good bit of cutscenes. So um, we're going to need as many of those Pokemon Dex donations as possible to get us through all those cutscenes. So please send those in. I heard yeah, so donations. Oh, go donations a good time. Oh, okay. Good time for donations right now. <laughs> yeah, do it. Okay, okay, we can do it right now. No problem. Okay. We have a lot of people donating with uh, their favorite dex entries, so feel free to get more of those donations than everybody with your favorite dex entries and why so that we can help Climb up in those incentives for um because we, we need to dethrone a god and we want to see some glitches. So we have a hundred dollars here from Siege who says, "What's up, GDQ? Donating ninety four dollars for my favorite Pokemon, Gengar, plus six Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck to the runners and dethrone God." I can't uh, wait for someone who's never gonna, seen this before to just tune in every time there's a donation that you says throw God, God. Yeah. And it's like, what? <laughs> so uh, you may be noticing these little white <laughs> things in the corner of my screen. T-Pat, what's the weather report here? Uh, the weather report right now is harsh sunshine. Good, and good job, and thus it's very bright. Okay. I, I had a whole weather report is, bit, is that, like, is that prepared the, for this. Is that the this, professional like, terms? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that, that, is that, is that how you say sudden? my weather? <laughs> Harsh sunshine. Did you bring your sunglasses? 
Well, in Hisui, I don't think they're invented yet. I'll be honest, I didn't realize that the edges of the screen got brighter when it was harsh sunlight. I just didn't know the difference in the game. It's kind of subtle. It, it is subtle, but yeah, it's definitely there. The other Listen, weather, I imagine whole, running catch mall where you have to pay attention to that because the distortion will not spawn under this yep. condition. That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. But that doesn't matter for this category. Weather? Listen, weather is very important in Legends Arceus. Weather's very important. The meteorologist, but it's also actually true. T Pat, <laughs> weather's really important in all walks of life. Okay. Thank you. That's right. Hey, T Pat. Speaking of weather, what's what's our weather tomorrow? Uh, scattered showers. I don't don't do the it, the Spokane it, weather no. report on no. on the finale Listen, day of I, GDQ. I, Listen, it's I, my day off tomorrow. I want to know if I can enjoy it. Okay, so this game is different than your standard Pokemon game because you're able to throw Pokeballs all over the world like as much as you want. So right here, uh, Hulk's gonna really running away from you. Hulk's gonna throw a Pokeball. It's gonna do that big animation, which is called a backstrike, which makes it more likely to catch. As you can catch Pokemon without going into battles, which is amazing. And I wish they kept it for Scarlet <laughs> and Violet, but they didn't. Yes. Um, thank you. I actually really enjoy that you can catch Pokemon just in the overworld without having to engage them in battle. I can't believe they got rid of it. And, yeah. Another thing they did in this game is that you can just throw your Pokemon at stuff and they'll do stuff for you. Um, besides fight. They'll do other stuff too. So we're going to throw... Never mind, we're going to skip it. I did, I did it before. That's good. Oh, you did, did it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if, mm -hmm. if, you, if you throw a Pokemon at the tree, it'll pick the berries off the tree, throw it at a rock, it'll it'll break the rock, and that gives you It's funny, because like, you have time to break the tree while you're waiting for the Starly to get in the ball. Uh, just a little bit of time. Um, and then when Rival you know, tells you about the tree, he's like looking at it like there's something in it, but there's still <laughs> no longer any berries in it. <laughs> it's like, hey, look at all these beautiful, delicious berries that your Pokemon can eat that are in this tree, and it's literally just an empty tree because you already farmed it. Um, yeah, so what is the likelihood of a drought in this area, Pat? Uh, drought, I believe, is around the 15-20% chance. Ah, my weatherman's uh, getting the percentages I, wrong. I it's a 3% status condition, I think, or a 3% weather condition. 3%? I knew yeah. fog was 3% in this area. I love fog. We'll let me, let me, let me fact check my sources. Such a great mechanic. We'll get there. Oh, I think it might be fog. That was 3%. Um, the other thing to know about this game is that our progress... Oh, we drought have is 4 <laughs> We have to actually complete the Pokedex in this game. This is like the only any percent Pokemon game where you have to complete the Poke, like complete your. Yes, complete, the Pokedex. Complete, but... And I did not just buy this for uh, a visual sight gag <laughs> for um, this run. I'd never seen that before. I That's want really that. cute. How much does that cost? I want it. Can, it was, I, can uh, I donate and, and get that as a bid? No, uh, for, no, yeah, uh, here's uh, the prize uh, for this no, one. <laughs> That's not. Keep that. You cannot just add prizes on a whim. <laughs> There All are rules. Right. Go to you can't just take somebody's property and make it a prize. <laughs> Gamesdonequick.com. Thank, Thank you, prize intern. Click the prize button. You can see all the prizes. I don't... Cheap head, I, I, I haven't gotten the job yet. Don't get me fired before okay, I even no. get the prize intern no. job. Come on. Okay. I, I, Imagine I, I getting I fired be before me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the way you complete Pokedex, the Pokedex of this game, is you have to complete certain tasks. And each Pokedex... Um, each Pokemon has its own specific task. So like one of the ones for Starly is to catch a certain number of Starly without being seen. And that's why we crouch in the grass and catch those Starly. I hope I'm right about that being a Starly one. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and so the rooting of this game is pretty much based on... Uh, also, so the way it works is that every time you complete a task, you either get... There's like... Each task is like a certain number of times you could do it. And then that gives you a small amount of points. And then if you get... Um, mate, mate, mate! You were correct about the Starly, but you were wrong about the way you pronounced routing. Uh, routing. I don't. I don't know where this rooting, rooting nonsense rooting? came from. Whatever. <laughs> when you um, you get a big amount of points when you complete enough like tasks, a certain am amount of tasks in the for each Pokemon, and that's like completing the entry in the same way that like catching a Pokemon completes it, quote unquote, in a regular game. So all the rooting around this game is about trying to catch or complete as few tasks as possible to get the 7,800 points we need to reach the fifth star. Because there are five areas in this game and you need one star per each next, or six areas in this game. Uh, you need one star per each next area you want to reach. You need 8,500 points. <laughs> Close enough though. I was gonna, I was gonna say, Hawk's gonna come in with the um actually. What? Um actually, 80, 80, we need 8,500 8, points to uh, finish this game. Oh, that I. It should be 7,800. 8,500 is way too high by Coronet, I must say. I had a lot of problems with I, casually with this game, with finishing. All right, so 
I re- I am reading the notes, and the notes are confusingly read, and I have not read this in a while, so don't listen to me. Oh, the notes say basically <laughs> um, that you have to complete like 40-ish, 39 Pokemon. That gives you 7,800 points, and then but then the you're other to get bonus points from other sources. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, the rest of what I said is largely true. Mm-hmm. It is. So that that's so this game. I I used to joke about how uh, the route for this game changed like every two days, because <laughs> it's but it's actually well, it's true. changing quite a bit. That's, that's for a good, while. Right? That's progress. Well, that's because you're so, all are doing Scarlet Violet stuff. I'm playing this game. That's true. I that's heard true. I heard that Hulk changed the route just for GDQ because we had gone more than two days without changing the route. I've also heard this. Mm-hmm. There is a different route here than what you see in the Any Percent Speedrun. So this, this is going to be so interesting. So this is a world premiere of this new route. But yeah, mm-hmm. so the routing of this game is like super complex. Um, people were... It's like Let's Go on steroids, because in Let's Go you needed the 50 Pokemon to get into Koga's gym. But that's just like catch one of Pokemon done. Here it's just a lot more complex between the catching, the feeding, the defeating, the seeing moves, and and etc. So you're gonna see a lot of different Pokemon in this run, which is cool. Because in a lot of runs, you kind a lot of Pokemon runs, you kind of just like get one Pokemon, and then you only use that, and maybe you switch it with something new. But eh. Um, or in a lot of runs, you just use a Fighting Flying Bird. That's pretty common. <laughs> but in this run, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Yeah, the fighting or uh, the battle system in this game uh, basically implements a sort of initiative system. If you're familiar with tabletop RPGs. Um, Basically, every Pokemon has, is assigned an action an action speed, and that action speed can be increased or lowered based on move properties, uh, some mechanics later on called strong and agile style. And so basically, just because uh, you've defeated a Pokemon does not mean you get to choose your next move on the next turn. That Pokemon that comes in after might have a chance to hit you. So it becomes unreliable to just sweep the ending with one Pokemon. Um, so you have to. The game forces you basically to make a full team. Unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing that many battles uh, because the end game is not part of this route. But that's okay. Unless, unless we have to. Unless oh, we, we do might have an incentive, yeah. incentive to do a certain late game site, a late game hmm. fight, to which maybe we should hear some donations before the run gets hmm. very complicated. Interesting, mm. interesting. You know, I was going to maybe pipe up and be like, oh, you're talking about incentives. You're picking up what he's putting so, down. Yeah. Oh, we definitely got time. All right, yeah. so let, let's give... Mm-hmm. Perfect. Let's give this um, $25 donation up. This is from Vernacia. It says, first we rescue a lost kitten. Next, we dethrone God. <laughs> Such is life. And uh, that leads me into talking about this incentive. Now, you all are doing amazing for that glitch exhibition. But we want to attack and dethrone Pokemon God, okay? We are over $51,000, so we have definitely made some awesome progress. You all are doing amazing. Um, That is needed. So let's see, that's about a fifth of the way through. We have 51000 out of the 250000 that we need. This would be toward the end of the run. Um, So if you want to see like those fights, you definitely need to get your donations in for that. Oh, do we want to hear a few more about that, by the uh, way, yeah. while we're Go waiting? Okay. Then let's get in $100 from Wizard of Kitty. Wizard of Kitty. Who says, is it time for Pokedex donations? Here's $100 for 10 Caternies attacking and dethroning God. <laughs> Can I please get some art of that? I, oh, there already the pro- exists art. Don't the worry. The problem is I'm Don't now worry. picturing one Caternies, but like all of the knees are all 10 times the number of knees. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Okay, so oh, we need man. art of both. <laughs> well, my Twitter's ruined. Thanks. No, no problem. Anytime. <laughs> You're so welcome. Make sure to make sure to tag keys in all of the. Make sure to <laughs> exclusively tag me in. Every make sure to category. not tag yeah. me. <laughs> oh man, do we have more time? Or are you going uh, into go for more? It. Okay, then we have uh, thirty-seven dollars from Kitty, who says there's a lot of kitties. I love it. Here is another $37 for, Vol- for Vulpix. Let's all face Giratina together. Thanks to the runners and everyone working at AGDQ. You guys are incredible. Less than three. Oh my gosh, no you. So um, the, you know, the route Corvame might be looking at might have told me to skip those videos, but I'm doing a new variation uh, where I'm going to attempt to skip uh, any evolution of Wormhole. Um, We're already off the handles, chat. 
Oh, I got a little slide there. I landed um, on a vertice or whatever you want to call it, a little part where two polygons met. And like, it considered me on the ground for like a second. An edge, yeah. I could probably use smaller words. Um, but that's what they're called. Basically, it considered me grounded for like a frame or two, but then like I was airborne again, so I got to slide a little bit further. I just it like that. It saves almost no time. It just looks cool. I just like that like, you're like, yeah, I sent May the notes that aren't what I'm doing as a bit. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks. You <laughs> Setting me up for failure. You know what makes me excited about this part of the run, Hulk? Mm -hmm. I recognize this area. Once you leave this area, I'm going to be clueless. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Keys, uh, oh, tell oh me about God. this area. Where, where, oh, yeah. oh, boy. Man, I could, I could fill the rest of GDQ time with this area. I spent <laughs> 128 hours in this area because I'm a dummy. Didn't you Where get do you the level nine rank on this too? I sure did. You can get you could get nine star rank in area one alone because uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. You did get quillfish, cool and you didn't even have to use the barrel bridge either. Yeah, I didn't glitch. I, I'm no dirty glitch cheater. <laughs> the barrel bridge is very funny, it and if you want to see that, actually, is that part of the glitch exhibition? No. <laughs> no. What? I can't do it. If you want to see that, check it. out YouTube. If you want to do that, see that, check out YouTube. So, um, mm -hmm. but you should still donate for that glitch exhibition because you'll get to see other stuff. Mm -hmm. The the other stuff I heard is very cool. Yeah, I'll sh I'll show you what happens. Like you know, this is going to be a very glitchless run, but it's not for lack of glitches. It's for lack of functionality and usefulness in the glitches. So I'll show you all the glitches that are close to helping, but not quite helpful. Yeah, this, it, that's pretty common, honestly, in a lot of um modern Pokemon games, because Game Freak does a pretty actually a quite good job of making it so that even if you do glitch, the game doesn't let you progress. So, uh, a lot of the glitches... Yeah, can't catch like a, a Shinx. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it has like a flag system. There we go. There you go. Oh, finally, thankfully. Yeah, this is this is weirdly enough, we call this day one of Obsidian Fieldlands, and it's like also one of the most difficult parts of the entire run. You're just you're in tutorial land for the first like 25 minutes of the any percent portion, and then you have like the most difficult part of the game. And it's not like catching these wormples. Uh, those shinks can be a little bit bothersome, but we are getting to the whole reason why we picked. Uh, oh, that's really good that you have a sleeping butterfly here. Uh, this is the whole reason why level. we picked. Yeah, we picked Cyndaquil to beat up these butterflies. Uh, Halk, as the record holder, determined that you could catch them. They are they would be faster, but since these are very high level butterflies, they have like a catch penalty to them. So it is not exactly guaranteed. I'm wondering at what point you're just you're just gonna. Maybe a I'm bit surprised more. that butterfly still hasn't aggroed on you yet. It's nice and calm. <laughs> Um, you are you are really trying, buddy. One thing we didn't mention before that's kind of minor, or kind of minor, minor but it does matter, is that um, you might have noticed that Helk's been kind of, oh, you caught it unawares. Yeah. Helk's been switching between um, uh, dashing and rolling, and that's because there's an invisible dash meter um, that runs out, and then you're slow. So that's the fastest way to move. Also. Have you ever played a Dark Souls game? Imagine this is just Dark Souls. We're in, yeah. we're in the Dark Souls block. We had Dark Souls 2, True. and now we have Legends Arceus. Yeah, there's there's plenty of action RPG elements to this, uh, but most important for this butterfly is that we have to backstrike. When you backstrike and engage in battle, you get the first move automatically, no matter what your speed stat is and the opposing Pokemon will lose its first turn and maybe its second. So with a level eight Cyndaquil, we can defeat a, I think that was a level 21 Beautifly. Uh, no problem. Uh, you did also see how it could disengage the battle and re-engage it, because the first Beautifly does take three hits to KO. So obviously that Beautifly would be fast enough that it would, uh, after losing its first turn, would regain some other turns. So we disengage the battle and then also re-engage it with a backstrike so that we are really beaten up on it. Uh, the second and third Beautiflies are much easier. There are two shots. Uh, are you risking rollouts or not? I'm gonna go for one rollout, yeah. Okay. Uh, rollout's still a 90% accuracy move. For and the people, yeah. yes! I love rollout. So after defeating just three Beautiflies, we are now level 18? Or are you 17? What? Hopefully That's 18. weird. We I was almost 19. 18. Nice. I've gotten 19 once. 
which is enough to evolve. So in just one trip, we've defeated three Pokemon and have caught in a handful of others. And we've gone from level five to 18 in just the first, you know, 15 minutes of the game. Uh, and that's going to be significant for, seriously, the very next battle we do. Um, the next is a required fight against one of the Diamond Clan members who has a Munchlax, which is really tanky and it has um, rollout. Actually, and it was just a huge the next fight battle. is going to be our rival. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, rival's kind of a pushover. Yeah. I haven't gotten actually yet. Take that couch. <laughs> Soul Survivor. I'm not getting actually. If you don't talk, you can't get actually. That's just the better. So I noticed that, uh, and this might be something that others in chat noticed, or maybe it was just kind of a subtle thing. Uh, you went from your first slot of your Pokemon list to your third slot basically instantaneously. So I'm assuming that there are double inputs that you can force in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Use, it's not quite the same as Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which is at SGDQ. You have to use the left stick and the D-pad. Using um, you have to, you have to left stick and right stick. Yeah, a little I have to bit. do a little bit of a claw thing. I'm kind of worried I may not I have I see you're points, using a specific but... controller, too. Yeah, it's a great controller. All right, good. I didn't have enough points. I was really worried about that. Because <laughs> normally I catch the Beautifly. Um, but yeah, that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> hey, re remember when... <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I was on Hotfix and I didn't have enough points? That was great! To leave the first area? What happened? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's because I didn't catch any <laughs> Whirlpools! He, he's a weatherman! <laughs> he can't count! Rue. Um, but yeah, basically today I'm using the um, Ape It Do um, Ultimate Controller for Switch, which uh, is probably the best turbo controller you can get on the market. Um, we've chosen to... Uh, you know, allow turbo on the leaderboard just for hand health because the mashing technique for this game is very, very, very unhealthy because um, you only get two buttons to mash and one of them has to be held down at all times and it's quite uncomfortable to do that optimally. Yeah, there's been a big push, especially with the newer Pokemon games to allow turbo control or turbo functionality on the leaderboards uh, via either the same leaderboard or a uh, um, uh, what, what would be the term I'm looking for? Uh, a it, variable. It, it'd be like a, a I have two heavy you know, like a variable. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Chonky yeah. doof. Yeah, because a lot of the a lot of the new Pokemon games have just like a <laughs> it tries to expand on like the lore and the plots, uh, to which this game has quite a lot of it, uh, as does Scarlet and Violet as well. Um, so there's a ton of text boxes that you just mash and mash and mash. Um, so to promote hand health. Uh, which is a great thing. Uh, we have pretty much have allowed Turbo on and for uh, all five, I think all five of the games. I think Let's Go is being voted on now because there hasn't really been a good Joy-Con Turbo controller yet anyways. Legalize Turbo yeah, we're back in, the in your community. <laughs> yeah, I used to, you know, be, uh, I don't know about that, but then I started grinding this game and, you know, there'd be days where I'm getting 12 minutes into a run and I'm like, something happens, I have to reset. And it's like, do I want to play this game and mash for 12 more minutes just to know if my run's going to live? Like, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just wearing, pressing these buttons. I'm wearing a wrist brace right now. And so now I'm like, no, no more of that. I will be not destroying my wrists. I need them for games. Good decision. So yeah, we have a fight with Rival here. And there's a lot of friendly encounters, uh, you know, with people friendly to you. That you're allowed to lose to. Um, this is one of them, but I have a very full team, and it'd be very slow to lose. Also, this Pikachu's level First nine, time. so like, oh dang! Yeah, I if you're level Pikachu seventeen, uh, if I had caught the Beautifly and come here, it most likely most likely would have been level seventeen. I would have had to use Strong Ember, and it would have been a range, it's and a, I could be outsped. So. A weird thing about this game, just because of the changes to the battle system, is that like. Pokemon are like really scary, even if you really under like out level them. Like low level things can just like really, really get you. It's like it's, surprising. Yeah, it's, I mentioned, every time. Um, I mentioned I the heavy Bidoofs earlier, uh, and Bidoof also has a task for being defeated. And there's a reason we're choosing not to go through with that because a level two Bidoof, you'd be surprised on what that can tank. <laughs> what that can survive. Yeah. Be careful you make yeah, fun I of it. I can't tell you how Gen many times 4. I've had like a level 25 Pokemon not one shot a level 2 Bidoof. It is 
it's weird. Um, Pokemon have more HP in this game than um, usual, but yeah, the battle mechanics are all overhauled. You know, I almost thought we were going to go a whole GDQ Pokemon game without having to explain ranges, and then you said range. Sorry. Yeah. Well, this game is not battle focused. It's it's that task and Pokedex focus because we're we are trying to unlock all five of the areas. And there are very, very few battles. There are a couple key ones. And maybe we'll fight that guy. Hopefully. Maybe. We have a donation maybe. center for us. Speaking of donations, now's a good time for that. You have any Kung Fu? Yay, okay. <laughs> I have so many. Okay, first of all, we are over $60,000 now already <clears throat> for the attack and dethroning the Pokemon gods. So you all are um, really killing it right now. Let's keep getting those in. Uh, we have a... $2,572 donation. That's a lot of Bulbasaur. In. Yes, from C and well, we do have some Bulbasaur ones, which is great. But um, this is from C and 4 who says the Pokemon runs are always a major highlight during GDQ for me. So of course, I have to jump on the Pokedex donation train. Sending my army of Eevee and all of its evolutions to help Halkyrie dethrone the Pokemon god. Thank you to everyone involved in making these GDQ marathons the best they can possibly be, because you are all amazing. So uh, we haven't really mentioned um, one of the negative consequences of failing a crouch cancel, um, like I just got there. Uh, basically, if you're too late, if you're too early, if you know Arceus is not fond of you on any given day, um, your character <laughs> will be stuck. Him. Your character will be stuck in a in the crouch animation for like an, an additional second, so you lose a second. On top of you just running straight into the cutscene, it's a very, very double-edged sword. Just don't mess it up. That's not a problem. Don't mess it up, forehead. I was gonna say that last Easy. donation sounded like it came from Penny. Yeah. See, that last donation came from Sean, who's a regular in my community, who always tunes in for pretty much every single charity event that involves anyone within PSR. Always drops a ton of money. Uh, I just want to give Sean like a quick shout out. Like you're you're the shout best. Shout out to it's, Sean. It's awesome. It's awesome how much you donate for good causes, and also you know, make me do really stupid things on my stream. <laughs> Way to That's go, Sean. A good cause. Let's go, Sean. Yeah, that much life was mean. Back when we used to do the Oshawa as the starter, it was like. Throw, throw everything in the kitchen sink at this Munchlax because as soon as it starts using rollout, you're in danger. Oh, yeah. B before we switched to Cyndaquil as a starter, we used to use Oshawa as our starter. Um, we would throw, like, Boisel out and get, like, four Aqua Jets off, and then we'd switch to Oshawa and get, like, another four Aqua Jets off because <laughs> we need that for research for both of those Pokemon. Uh, explain, one of like the benefits I didn't mention about Cyndaquil is uh, it actually starts with a move that gives it research, and no other starter has that. It starts at Quick Attack. Um, and it gets actually some research points from that move. Basically, for research, uh, every task completed gives 10 points, except for the double point tasks, which give 20. And once a Pokemon gets to 10 tasks, or 10 tasks completed, yes, um, it gets a 100 point bonus. So from going from rank 9 to rank 10, you get essentially like 110 extra points just for that one rank difference. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. So normally, like when you're. Uh turning in your, your research and you miss one, like, you, you, even if you miss, like, one task, that could really set you down more lower than you think you would just because, like, it's, 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 this game is very much, like, rooting by the margins where a really small, like, oh, I, I crit something and so it died so I didn't get a move off and so I have to go make that up because if I don't, then I actually lose 110 points. I don't just lose 10 points. Looks like you looks like you made up for your shanks with at least one geo dude. I got the shanks. Um, I got the shanks today. I, all I needed was one yesterday because I know there's the one by the bridge that I can just catch. All right, those were being really mean yesterday. Wait, okay. A, I didn't think you were gonna evolve Wurples. I did. If I caught Beautifly, I wasn't going to. Okay. Uh, and B, we are coming up to my fa personal favorite part of the game. We get to see really big Pokemon, and sometimes they say really cool and fun things. All right, my eyes <laughs> are open. This Rumble's one it. EXP point away from level nine. It's silly. It'll get, you know what? It's just taking its time. It's okay, Wurple. <laughs> get there. You level up when you feel like it. 
So unfortunately, this like means I have to evolve one more Wurmple. Not for reasons I'll explain later. What were you saying, Keith? I'd like to say it's really great that this game gave you the ability to choose when to evolve because it's so Oof. it's so dex research intensive that it would be a real pain in the butt if you had to press B to cancel an evolution over and over just to finish like two more battles with that Pokemon. Because you can't finish like a, like you can't finish like Cyndaquil's research with the Kolava. It doesn't go like back down. Mm hmm. Yeah, you need to see Cyndaquil use Ember X amount of times. Using Ember with Quilava will do nothing for your Cyndaquil research. Uh, May actually made a extremely, extremely useful tracker for all the research in this game. Um, That's I think I'm before here. that, and if May hadn't done that, we would have had to use like you know all those day one news article websites <laughs> list of research, <laughs> and like it would have been really, really messy. Or Serebii has a pretty good research tool, I think, as well. But the, the, the clickbait articles, like, how do you get yeah. this Pokemon in this game? Yeah, to find and it's like, out. And, it's and it's like, like no information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it answers on the, like, second bullet. Sorry, go ahead. Hey, that's oh, an, no, hey, that's an alpha Pokemon. Pokemon. Sentence. Yeah, do you want to explain alpha Pokemon to you, Pat? Yeah, Alpha Pokemon, they're, uh, they're slightly bigger uh, in the wild. Uh, as you can see, that Frickitude is quite large. Uh, not quite like Dynamax big. Uh, but Alpha Pokemon get like, they get like an Omni Boost kind of uh, like RPG stat boost to them. So even though that was a level 12 Cricketune, still had to two shot it with our Kolava here. Uh, and they do appear in the wild. Uh, there are static Alpha encounters uh, in all five areas. Uh, and we see them every time. And then when you return to a region, uh, some wild Pokemon, I believe, have a 1% chance to just randomly spawn as an alpha. So you could catch an alpha Wurmple, and that's that's one rather large lad big if you worm. do encounter one. It is a big worm. Is also the yeah, there's Pokemon a very game. notorious... Um, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. All right, I will. <laughs> this is also the first Pokemon game where Pokemon vary in size. So you can catch... A big Bidoof, you can catch a little small Bidoof, and then an Alpha is a big Bidoof. Yeah, my point actually piggybacks off that perfectly. Uh, there's a very notorious side quest that I've heard a lot of people complain about in this game. I didn't go too deep on side quests in this game when I played. But there's one side quest in particular where you have to have a very, very, very large Bidoof, or Weasel. Weasel, yeah. And uh, naturally, trying to get that Weasel, you have like a 231 out of 255 chance to get it. That could probably be simplified, but I, I don't feel like it. But like with an alpha, you'll automatically complete that side quest. So there's small things where it helps in this game. Not necessarily for a speed. I run, swear but. I caught like a hundred weasels and was like checking their entries and I was like two six, two five, two four, two seven, two six. Man, none of these are two foot eight. And I think there's a two foot seven that would actually satisfy it's weird. The the math math is weird. Oh, oh, only Corva made knows stuff about math. If you wanted to learn, if you want to learn more about Pokemon math, you could check out the BDSP run from last uh, from SGDQ 2022, <laughs> where I did a very good job and at explaining all the math that wasn't just me rattling off numbers extremely fast. It was a very good job. You're the modern day shenanigans. Thank you. You're I the, don't know if that's a compliment. You're, you're the, modern, you're the modern day shenanigans, <laughs> but you don't hate Bulbasaur. You you don't hate Bulbasaur, right? I do like Bul I like Bulbasaur. I like yeah, see. Okay, yeah. well, well, May's a winner in chat. I hate, I hate a different grass type that I will not be naming right now. <laughs> otherwise, you'll have to write a written apology. Otherwise I'll, otherwise, I'll be forced to write an apology, and I don't want to do that. Because I will never apologize to that Pokemon. I can't believe there was a donation goal for the written apology. Maybe if y'all donate a certain amount, I'll reveal which Pokemon I hate, even though people know that. A lot of people know this already. Mm. You Good should have it be like donations. if the total, yeah, I was gonna say you should have it as a total number Yay. for the event or something, so it's easy to track. I don't know. Somebody right? name a number. No, Food, just... give me a number. All right, two point five. I'll tell you which Pokemon I hate. There you go. Two point five. Chat. Speaking of, we are over. We are almost sixty four thousand dollars in. To that two hundred fifty thousand dollars. If you would like to see attacking and dethroning the Pokemon God. Um, and we are at the halfway point for the glitch exhibition, so you all are doing amazing. We have $20 from Fried Narwhal, who says, had to donate for one of my favorite games and one of my favorite runners. Good luck on the run, Halk. Thank you, Narwhal. We also have 
<laughs> We've also got $50 from Flango. Who says hello, all? It's been a while, but what a pleasure it is to see some of my pals showing off Arceus and PMD at GDQ. Good luck. You can do it. The PMD run was great. Yeah, if you want to, if you go back and watch any run, that was a great uh, experience. It was so to watch. good. Uh, it was so good. Strive Sada <laughs> was amazing on commentary. Epic Yoshi Master was great. You know, explaining the way the dungeons work and everything, and playing the game. I want to say that that run, to watch. that run had like the perfect mix of like great RNG and terrible RNG, and it's just it was just it was just a flow state of a run. Mm -hmm. We Did you realize how you, you that can this GDQ was curated specifically for you? It started with your like first Pokemon Speed game, and it's ending with your current True. Speed game. Yeah, I mean, I did submit Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for a few years, uh, I think from like 2014 to 2018, and I never was successful at getting into the marathon, but I'm glad that the, the game eventually made it into the marathon. You know, and I submitted something else and got in, so it was a sign, you know. I just had to submit something else. <laughs> I had to have somebody else submit PMD, and it worked out. Yeah, we got some hey, more time. Legends Arceus. Yeah, yeah we're, we're in the middle of a cutscene right now. <laughs> okay, sweet. We have uh, $59. This is from Thomas Patrick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yay! This is, um, Thomas says, Hulk, I'm so proud of you. Your motivation and persistence has been unmatched when it comes to Legends Arceus. And personally, I say Arceus or Arceus. I don't know, whatever you all prefer, honestly. They're both canon. And personally, <laughs> thanks for sitting down and helping improve and helping me improve too with a bit of coaching. I wouldn't be here today without you and Keys and May. So thank you for being just the best friends a weather boy could ask for. Oh yeah, $59 for the best doggo. He's way in arc nine. Uh, you got a little bit more time. Okay. <laughs> nice, Patrick. Good job. Um, and then we have, um, this is $20 from uh, Johnny Gage. Love that. And it goes, I want to see the very best like no one bum, ever bum, was. Bum. Dethroned God is your real test. Erasing cancer is bum, the bum, cause. Bum. DDQ. That's wonderful. All right. Clap. Clap, chat. If you don't clap, then I'll personally dislike you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, basically in the plot, we should probably be explaining plot. We skipped a little bit at the beginning, but basically we were, uh, uh, I think somebody in my chat put it best. We were isekai'd by truck coon. I think that's the common terminology for that. <laughs> that was our, it was, um, we were isekai'd by Arceus and that's why we have to go to throne them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're in this world we don't understand, but we're exceptionally great at catching Pokemon. I don't know why. Um, but now, now that we're a part of the survey core, um, we have been tasked with calming the uh, noble Cleavor in the area. Also, I, I didn't really acknowledge, but you can't really crouch cancel doors. Uh, it just doesn't work. Except for that one door, because that one door that I just uh, did it on was a cutscene trigger, not a door. So. I can't believe doors hate speed. It's true. I know, right? Whenever you try to do a crouch cancel on a door, it basically makes you fall off like a one millimeter ledge. Like, that's what it looks like. It just doesn't help anything. Have you ever tried to run through a door? They don't like it. Think about it. I've ran into a door. So have I. They don't there like it when you do some, that. <laughs> yeah, they don't like there it. is something. Uh, basically, hmm, how do I put this? So, um, sometimes, uh, whenever you talk to a door, talk to a person, sometimes animations will just get skipped. And there is an instance where if you walk out a door, your character will just instantly reset to neutral because there's no animation playing for them. And that does save a little bit of time. We don't know why. Uh, there's a very famous one at the very beginning of the any percent run called Nod Skip. It is complete RNG. I would say it's like one in two hundred or something like that uh, to get. So it's it's kind of silly what this game can do sometimes. Yeah, the way that the box looks in this game is so much better than other games. Mm -hmm. oh I don't God. like. I don't. I don't love it honestly in this game. I don't like the the models. Why are you on this couch? I like. I think so. Here's the thing. I like. Good I question. Think the, I think that is a good question. I think the uh, Scarlet Violet <laughs> boxes look good. They just load ungodly oh, slowly. Okay. Thank you for, for adding the look, but because, yeah. Oh, no, they function terribly, Terrible. but they look great. Yeah. Well, you can't even see the hey, other there's shiny. Your shaky door. Hi, Geodude. Yeah, I'm not planning on finishing Geodude, but uh, it's good to see that for 20 points. It lost me no time because uh, there's going to be some tasks that I'm doing today. Um, like fighting because I'm on foot anyway. 
So it'll be faster for me to just do these now um, before we get our faster movement upgrade. Because like this is pretty much full speed for me anyway, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. Right. I also saw that in the box, which looks pretty, but apparently not as pretty as Scarlet Violet boxes. Uh, you took an, I saw that you took an extra moment to make sure you had the correct gender of Starly to evolve. And Wurmple. And Wurmple, uh, because there are points for having two different forms, and forms would be a male and a female form. And for Staravia specifically, uh, you can finish Staravia's Pokedex if you have both a male and a female. Uh, without having to use any aerial aces. And that is what you are going to be doing. Apparently there was a shiny. Uh, yeah. I didn't I, hear it. <laughs> I didn't even notice, yeah. Oh, well, that's I time lost. I wouldn't have lost. it anyway, sorry. <laughs> that's time lost, we can't do that. I would have admired it. That's okay. I don't have your audio up high enough to... Yeah, I usually play audio. with the game in my headphones, but I'm actually playing Unplugged today, so I can hear everybody. Okay, uh, unpopular audio. opinion. I actually dig that the overworld shinies have a sound cue. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. important. I agree. For accessibility. I'm with you. I agree. I, wish I see shinies. I miss it. It's Scarlet Violet. Gosh, that's like a performance patch, and then B, I want overworld shiny sounds. That that's Every all single, I have oh, for. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G performance patch. That is the oh. biggest <laughs> issue facing the game right now. Um, every time the game's like, you caught a Pokemon unawares. I'm like, yeah, it's just like me for real. <laughs> I don't know how I, that I made like, it through QA. Like the <laughs> I, I'd like to point out real quick that a little behind the scenes for folks. When we were doing pre-show stuff, I brought my Switch and I was shiny hunting and I showed Fu and Feasel and Adept and like half the crew. Slow poke. I was, I was I was hunting for a slow poke and I showed them the differences and they're like, huh? Have you have you we got a shiny full of confusion? Have you got a shiny tandems yet? Because I heard yes. that that is a strain on the eyes. I sure have. Oh, oh okay, well, so real quick, I can I can I can currently evolve my Bidoof. I'm not going to. Because I caught three ready. heavy Bidoofs, so I don't have to do it. What? That finishes Bidoof. Oh, and you're not going to carry it with you in the next area? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm, so I don't need doing, it at all. You're doing, the, you're doing the new GDQ Omi strats here. Hey, chat, can I go to Yeehaw? Yeah. Yeehaw. Well, actually, I routed out a barrel out of my any percent run a while ago. But, yeah. I, I like that. I have no idea what the shiny was. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I didn't top, hear I'm it. top five in this game, and, and I still don't even understand half the strats that you do at the record level. Like, if somebody could tell me, like, where it was in the area, like, how long after I spawned in, I could tell you what it probably was, because I know what the spawns are in the area. I would guess. I, I just want to know what, what it was. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I, I think chat's lying. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it. I'm being gaslit by chat. I can't yeah. believe this. If there's no clip, it doesn't exist. True. Oh, yeah, should be a clip. Actually, I don't know if you guys can post links. Oh, we're we're never going to know what it is because May told everyone to say yeehaw, and it's been yeehaw for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, then somebody needs to chat. donate with what the shiny True. Pokemon was. Somebody then. please fill us in. True. Yeah, we can read it out. Uh, speaking of donations, Fu, you got a little bit of time here. Yeah, did you know that your couch keeps donating? <laughs> we would I never, heard. We no. would never do that. Way, look, we have this, like... So weird. We have this like random two hundred and twenty six dollar donation from Corva May. Who's that? Let's hear them out. <laughs> okay, May says, uh, "What's your favorite Pokemon?" Donating two hundred and twenty six dollars for mine, Mantine. Since the Arceus runners cruelly you're a sky pancake enjoyer. What? I said, "May you're a sky pancake enjoyer." Let her finish. I didn't know that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Finish the donation. Okay. This donator Since is very Arceus important. <laughs> Since the RCS runners cruelly routed out my beloved Drifloon, the least Hal could do is catch a Mantike for me, thanks. Maybe if more people donate their favorite dex numbers, it'll happen. I could <laughs> catch Mantine or Mantike. You could. Oh yeah, you can just catch Mantine. I didn't even think about that. It's literally, yeah, it's after on, the, it's literally on the way. Mm, the only restriction would be catching a Shellos first, but their spawns after Shellos. I should quickly mention. Yeah, Sky Pancake is a is oh. the PMD community's name for Mantine. I did not know how that. it looks in uh in the game. I just know that all Kala runners um hate Mantine, and I love Mantine, and so I'm constantly at odds with them. 
I was just criminal. at the Shed Aquarium the other day, and I saw a real-life stingray, and I'm like, these are the cutest animals in the world. I now understand. I understand. I love them so much. I, now I, too, love them very much. I wanted to mention that if you saw what Halk did at the end of the... Before coming to the village, he flipped Before the slow crouch or after the slow crouch? Uh, I think it would have been after the slow crouch. Okay. Uh, when you saw your Pokedex, uh, you'll see Halk basically flip through all the Pokedex entries very, very quick. What he's doing... I can read really quickly. I'm psychic. Yes. He, <laughs> <laughs> and if you play this game, you too can become a speed reader. Or you just are hitting a basically like a, a screen capture... Uh, button that makes like a local video clip and then he's looking at it one frame at a time yeah basically like you're required to record your video anyway for these runs to submit to the leaderboard so i feel like i might as well use the recording to my advantage um it's no different from my, like you know any bigger streamer like using chat to get stats or anything like that you know i'm just using the tools that are available to me you know so i don't have to sit there for like 10 15 additional seconds to look at and study every single entry i have it just makes life a lot easier and this will be our final trip to Obsidian Fieldlands. We will finally get our ride Pokemon, one That's of the hot. greatest boys ever. Oh, oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the last time you're going to see Cyndaquil or Quilaver. You're It's the last time you're going to see Keijo Glitch. So. There goes but I've been my attached. hero. Watch them as they go. In the box. In the box. In the box. Cynical's the boy in the box. Down. Down. Oh, down. I'm so sorry. This is a very for weird all concert. Of that. <laughs> hashtag blame me. Hashtag blame. Yeah, hashtag blame keys. I agree. Wait, what? You said blame me. <laughs> I said May. Oh, I just heard that. May. It did sound like me that for a oh, second dude. there, just to be <laughs> to be fair. I don't want to talk to you anymore. So we got the bike. Um this will move us, allow us to move a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, I call it the bike because uh, when Shenanigans was running this game, his split here was called bike. Uh, his next split is called this area took keys 100 hours. Um, <laughs> this is true. It's so true. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, would yeah, you shout like out to some donations? Oh, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay, sweet. A uh, quick update. We are now at... Do we hit over six? Okay, we are about to hit $68,000 out of that $250,000 that we need for the Attack and Dethrone Pokemon God. It's in cap, so I feel like I have to read it with, like, extra, you know, so... Um, and then we are uh, over $52,000 out of the $100,000 for the Glitch Exhibition. So there's your update there. We've also got... $30 from Mr. Mantis, speaking of things like Mantis, Manti, Manti, um, who says, made it just in time for Pokemon. Here's $30 to summon a horde of Bulbashins. Good luck in the run, <laughs> Uh We are coming it's up on a very important part of this game that is more wildly different than what you're seeing right now. Uh, this is where everything really speeds up. Um, but after this upcoming battle, we're going to get into the real, like, action RPG portion, uh, which is where we have to, uh, instead of maybe fight a bear with our fists, uh, we are going to fight a cleavor, uh with some food. Face like, to face. Y'all like Dark any Souls? Pokemon. Yeah, we all like Dark Souls. Dark Souls block? This is, this this is, is what it is. Dark Souls this 4. It, yeah. Wait, does that... <laughs> wait. No. Yes. Well, this takes place before. <laughs> this is a prequel. This is in the past. Oh, so, it, so. so it's Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 0 0.5. This isn't Kingdom Hearts. Don't do that. <laughs> this is Dark Souls 0 0.2, <laughs> final <laughs> chapter <laughs> prologue, a, fi a fragmentary passage. I've been tuning you guys out for like five minutes. I don't even I know don't what's going on. Anymore. Yeah, that's fair. No, that checks out. <laughs> Just yell at me for donations if you <laughs> try to read. Uh, now is a good time, I think. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, perfect. Um, we have, uh, well, we do have $25 from SJ in Winchester who says, $25 for Pikachu. Hey, Couch, can we get some Pokemon cries going on? Uh, pay off. I mean, a significant coin for that. I don't know. I can look. For, I think there were this more This is Cage Glitch's that... last battle. Enjoy it. That ask. Oh, there it is. Okay, Purple will you all hand. think of your favorite Pokemon cries? We all know Jesus, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Ariados. It's Mantine. 
I love Ariados because it sounds like I, every time I see it in a randomizer, I never want to see it. I like no Ariados, but like, but like, it just shows up like, ta-da! <laughs> it's like, hi, I'm here, and it's like, I didn't ask, but okay, welcome. <laughs> That's, the cry just sounds like, ta-da to me. We actually have word on the shiny, if you would like some oh? word on that. The fake shiny? On the <laughs> fake shiny? It's not okay, real. Okay, for, wait, wait, real quick. We have to wrap up the couch donations, so we do have $150 from Keys Around. I know that says, guy. Oh Thanks, my gosh, Keys. I know them. Oh, your favorite Pokemon's Mewtwo? Yeah, blah, blah, psychic Mewtwo. Hey, Hulk, blah, you're great. Want to do some Cinco Bingo soon? Absolutely not. Uh, so right now we're gonna. <laughs> so right now we're gonna fight Cleavor, uh, the boss of this area, and uh, yeah, it is very Dark Souls. Waiting till attacks are thrown out, and then uh, react and do other things. T Pad, if you want to explain. Yeah. So what you're gonna see, the, the objective here is we're just throwing these like food packets at him. Cleavor has two attacks: the rush at you and run into the wall attack, and then he has this whirlwind attack. Oh, uh, well, he's going to do the next This whirlwind you. attack. That, uh, <laughs> it would have been nicer if you would have got the whirlwind attack while he was in that specific spot um, because he has this weird... He has this weird, like, attack hitbox where if you are standing, like, directly... Uh, like, directly by him, his big old axes actually, like, cut down at you and he hits the rock like that. before he hits you. That was perfectly done. And then we just continue to, to dodge his attacks like this and get our bombs up. He can't hit us because his axes are too big and ta-da, clap. That was actually pretty pretty well recovered that because that was an awkward spot for him to be in. The way that they intend for you to do these, sort of, is to like, you're supposed to throw the bombs at them until they you tr like trigger whatever. Uh, like the thing where you ran to the wall, it was like, set a Pokemon to, to do battle. And then you, they expect you to like, do battle with it, and then you'll get a chance to do the damage that's more effective. That's so much slower than just throwing more things at it. So we never do that. Um, for, there was a one point we used it for the Avalug fight, but I don't think they do that anymore. Oh no, the Avalug fight is very interesting. Yeah, it's been, it's very, very different. Uh, I, I, saw, I saw that eyebrow raise, Halk. It's very different than when I was running <laughs> I'm excited for this. it. There I, are I'm also, excited for it, too. There are IL boards for all of the um, the rematches of the Frenzied Lord fights, which after you beat the game, you can come mm, back. Speedrun.com slash PKMNLA. Yes. If you want to learn more about this game, uh, um, if you want to see all those leaderboards. And we also have category extensions, which this is a category extension. Um, it's just, you know, like I said, any percent just without the beginning and the end. The, the IELs in particular, uh, the rematches have more health than they do in just the regular eight game. more I hits. Think it's, yeah, I, th I was going to say eight more hits. Um, so some of the strats can be a little bit different, but the general concept obviously is the same. For like, yeah, it actually, it's interesting because like for some fights they go from like not pretty trim, like not bad to very precise. Like uh, Electrode in particular goes from um, pretty a lot of leeway to extremely precise. Yeah. I grinded the Electrode IL a whole lot, and now my time is <laughs> not even good anymore so it's wild i believe the japanese community is like really into it they're like, really good yeah at there's, it. there's one runner good. in particular that i could think of named uh, there's like two people that kind of dominated those uh there's harry and there's ray harry is japanese then ray i think is american but i think harry like just kind of like did like a blowout on all the records and hasn't lost them since recently yeah, those, oh, those what are... was the shiny kung fu <laughs> Okay, that was a good so, time for a lot of donations, actually. I was gonna, <laughs> You always are like, hey, Fu, you know, you can do some donations. And I'm like, oh, Sorry, I, I saw a chat message like, like, what was the shiny? I'm like, yeah, that's a good point. What was the shiny? And then, like, you just got off track. It's okay. It's yeah. totally okay. Um, as I just saw the way back in Jube Life, and I'm like, oh, hey. Um, first of all, we are that's over $70,000 <laughs> for dethroning God. So over 70000 which is great. Um, here's the info we have so far. So we're going to need more donations on this because it's... Not 100% clear. $54 from Shiny Misty, who says, donating to inform y'all that, yes, there was a Shiny. I had clipped it on Twitter. It was audio only. <laughs> so it spawned somewhere around when we broke the Shaking Ore and battled the Geodude. Might have been a star. Also, the Pokedex, the Pokedex entry is in honor of my mother, who always had headaches and thus became Psyduck in the family. <laughs> yeah, tweet at me if you saw the Shiny. That's probably a terrible idea, actually. 
Everybody tweet so help so right now. So that's like one step closer. It's like, a good way to just crash my message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes uh, we think about words as they come out, but not You today. think? <laughs> I don't. Sometimes. Who do, who do you think your couch is right now? A, 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 a group of people that think uh, just about as good as me. <laughs> hey, donations are great. I'm in good donations. company. Oh, donations. Okay. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> $25 from Game Boy Light, who says, Hello, GDQ. Light here. Absolutely had to donate towards the attack and dethrone God incentive. Pokemon Legends Arceus is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon experiences, and it's a pleasure to see it being ran here, not even a year after release. Yes, my wife and I will donate an additional $25 if each... If Halkorian friends can make their best Celestica flute impression. Oh. <laughs> Would you all like oh. to do that? That was mine. It's, it's, it's hard. That was a lot better. Okay, we yeah. got one. <laughs> what was that? Okay. <laughs> the notes go up and down, not just down. <laughs> uh-huh. Is that three out of four? Two out of four? Do it again, keys. <laughs> it sounds like Tingle from Majora's Mask. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, look, listen. We've also got, perfect. All right, all right, we've also got two hundred fifty dollars from uh, Evil Bilbo, who says no idea what it takes to dethrone a Pokemon God, but I'm down. We gotta find out. And uh, I think this is important. Ninety four dollars from Alienina. <laughs> Thing, donating for Gengar and also to ask Kizron, how did you get to nine star rank in area one? Here's to attacking and dethroning God, who may be Kizron. Okay, one, you're wrong. Two, um, <laughs> so that would take far too much time to explain. And I don't want to take also away from more donations. <laughs> oh, this is my best friend Ginter, by the way. Uh, he sells random people. items. Uh, wait, did he have cool. I like him. Yes, he did. Hey. Uh, Weirdly enough, there's RNG shopping in this game game, and Ginther is it. Um he he will have like random items, like he could give you uh spell sprays, scatter bangs, um berries, pokeballs, great balls, and the he like. He does not give scatter bangs, that's a lie. He, I have a hundred hours to prove he, it. He's a liar. He can give scatter bangs. No, uh, the, I don't believe it. No, it is true. I get them in my speedruns all the time. Yeah, so uh it's funny because uh no matter how Professor Oak challenge you go in area one. If you get to rank nine, rank ten, it doesn't matter. You cannot craft scatterbangs before you finish this second area. Because uh, <laughs> they don't give you the they don't give you the recipe until after you beat Lilligan. However, Ginser can sell them on the first day. And he never does. If never. you figure out how well, to probably because you ranked up and you out like I'm pretty sure he has different shops based on what rank you are. And once you start ranking up, like you you qualify for bigger and better products from him, like bigger evolution items. Yeah, like, I wanted like the, the bigger explosion. Things. He never gave me the bigger explosion. <laughs> if you figure out, if you're able to figure out how to manip uh, his shop to give certain items, Hulk will be your best friend forever. Uh, we True. know that the reason we couldn't do first movement or starter select for timing is because you can do it that way. Because I think like, I think if you start a file and then use that same file without like deleting it and making a new one, I'm pretty sure Ginter will always sell you the first three same items. Yeah, like his seat is locked. Mm -hmm. uh, from can you the hit me with game. moves? Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna just, win against this mine junior real quick. No, I'm not. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Close there enough. You go. I got all, okay, so it's actually not bad that that took a while. Um, because you know, these are fights you want to lose, but I also need three quick attacks on Shinx to finish its research. So I just got those. So that's good. That was a level three Shinx, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go yeah. to our second Close area. Ooh. Yeah, There's more than second one area. area. So in this area, most routes, and I'll say it like that, most routes after we also uh, fight and lose to Volo, uh, we would like re-party manage. We would get Quilava and a Staravia and like some evolution Pokemon back in our party and then go from nope. there. Halk is not going to do that. Because he's a mad lad. So if you would like to explain what you are going to do with your party management, because I don't know how you're going to be Ursaluna with your level three Shinx right now. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, weather uh, boy. Wait, nice. That's why he asked. Snap back. Yeah, it does seem like he wants to know. Uh, basically, oh yeah, you can, you can do crafting. It's kind of cool. 
Um, base, basically, uh, talk to that guy is very slow. I think at this point is when he starts talking about you upgrading the shop in town, and it's really annoying. He says it every single time you talk mm -hmm. to him that, oh, you should go upgrade the general store. Anyways, what do you want? And it's really slow. So I found that after I lose this battle, if I go catch the Psyduck I just ran past, I can use that to defeat coins, Toxicroak. And then if I catch like a couple more things, I can use those things to defeat Ursa Luna. So the menu is completely pointless. Except for finishing Staravia, which I can just feed it later and finish it that way. Uh, we have another. We have I sure love plot. We got plot. Oh, we basically, uh, plot is we 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 made Cleavor feel better, uh, but now we got to go do the same thing with Ursa Luna. We also because have they think Ursa Luna is under the same uh, duress, which is thing. correct. Know. They are right. So uh, while we're doing some fights, oh great, great idea! Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Especially a fight that we lose. <laughs> Look, listen, yeah. I just have so many donations. So I'm like, Go for it. Ah, when do I fit them Keep in? them coming. Right. I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll start talking when I need to like, explain something. Great. That sounds good. All right. We have $200 from Zen Zero, who says it's not a true JRPG if we don't attack and dethrone a god at the end, right? Um, we also have $35 from Cat Food, who says I had to donate while two of my favorite things were happening. Kung Fu and donations and a Pokemon game going. Thank you, everyone who helped with the event and everyone who donated to make this an amazing event. We also have $30 from Lala Lappin, who says, Hello, GDQ and Pokemon Wildlife Observers. Can't wait to see one of my favorite Pokemon games in recent years. Remember, if you strike your enemy from the back, you'll catch them easier. A tip from our very good friend, Volo. That's true. Weird foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Of course. We also have $50 from Astraloon, who says, Donating $50 for my favorite Pokemon, 50 Bulbasaurs. <laughs> $25 from Blazing Glaceon, who says Sprigatito is best cat. I still love you, Litten. Um, let's see. We've got uh we've got $50 from Poke, who says, let's beat that Pokemon god like we're beating cancer. And we have $25 from Frostlass, who's saying Pokemon donation. Lilligant, number 549. Perfect in her standard or his way in form. Good luck to all the runners. Less than Lilligan, three. Hisuian Lilligant's my favorite Hisuian form, by the way. I love it. I think, it's I think the design picture. is absolutely pretty. Yeah, it's my it's my uh, mascot right now. <laughs> what is my favorite Hisuian form? I never, probably Slagoo. Donate what your favorite Hisuian form is Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. I already Sweet. did that. Yeah. We need to. Okay, so need basically, to uh, Shinx is unfortunately going to be fodder for this fight. It, you know, no. it hasn't lost enough yet. Uh, <laughs> I, for a while, was very scared that this um, this Toxic Rogue had Mud Bomb because at the level that it is, it should have Mud Bomb. But people have told me that it actually only has Venishock and Rock Smash, so I'm not worried about uh, it using that. The only problem with using Mud Bomb is that it becomes very hard to hit afterwards, so it'd make uh, Static's life very hard. I was gonna I was gonna say keys I, do, are you sure you're allowed to be here I mean it's like spoilers for you from here on out <laughs> what's a toxic croak <laughs> oh they don't spawn in the distortions in a I don't I don't I know, know yeah I think they do so no I'm pretty sure they do you actually know better than me at this point I'm very certain that they do You know, but, uh, I, that is I obscure. Out, that is very obscure. I want to point out that I looked at chat just now when we asked what favorite Hisuian forms everyone has, and I saw a lot of Zerua and Zoroark, and those are the right answers. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. Oh Especially, my gosh, okay, that's my favorite. If so you have Zerua. nothing to watch after this, after this marathon's over, which is ending, you know, today, uh, go on YouTube and search Hisuian Snow. So good. Uh, Pokemon Pokemon made like a little little three part mini series online about like uh, you know, basically just some world build world building for this uh, region, and it's really really cool. So good, and normal ghost, excellent typing. It's so good. Excellent. Is it just, um, I think in theory we're getting the Hisuian forms transferable into. Uh, Scarlet Violet soon-ish, right? So that'll be interesting. See which ones are like, like the competitive viability of them. 
Well, listen, yeah, I've, the, I've done a randomizer, and the randomizer has Hisuian forms, and the game is not balanced around how busted the Hisuian moves ooh. are. Oh yeah, that that checks out. They're really good. I mean, my number one through five wish list is the performance update, but somewhere around like number nine or number ten is my boy Weird Ear in Scarlet Violet. Psy Shield Bash would be unfair in that game. So now in uh, plot news, um, we are told to um, meet Kalaba and Ursluna um, at the Sludge... Was it Sludge Mound? Is that what it's called? I think it so. doesn't sound right, but I think that's what it's called. Yeah, something like that. Uh, we're going to go there, but we're going to take a very roundabout way to get there. T-Pad, do you want to explain where I'm going? Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go through more of our like Pokedex completion kind of stuff, but we're gonna do a little bit of some Skyrim hopping on some ledges to get to an area that, and it's honestly not even that difficult. You just go up here. Uh, it's we're gonna be in an area where we can find some naturally higher level Pokemon, not necessarily these Paris, but we're gonna start to see more Cricket Tune that are not level twelve. They will be in the level forties and thus will award us a lot more experience. Uh, these Krikatoons are gonna hopefully go very well. Just crossing my fingers right now. You got one. Have, have we mentioned the point of you making heavy balls yet? I mean, I know we like briefly no. said that you can craft stuff. So like different balls have different effects. Um, there's two special classes of balls in this game. There's the heavy ball variant, which is the black colored balls. And then there's a jet ball variant or feather ball, whatever the basic one is, that goes further. Um, heavy balls are harder to throw. You have to kind of arc it a little bit if you're doing it at a little bit of a distance, but they have an increased catch rate if you get a back strike. And they're incredibly valuable for really quick catches. If you're a fool like me, casually, you just never use heavy balls and only use jet balls. That's disgusting. Because A, they have a wing on them, and I'm into that. I like that. Mm -hmm. And B, um, I like I like their, their travel arc better. <laughs> that is actually terrible because they actually have a really, really, really bad base oh, catch rate. Yeah. The, oh, I yeah, know. The feather, the feather balls have a lower catch rate than Pokeballs. Unless the Pokemon is physically flying. Oh, I know. Yeah. I spent a lot of money in this game on, on <laughs> jet balls that pop open. But yeah, we, we took care of the Cricket Tunes. Um, you caught at least one Tigger yeah, that I that? saw. Uh, and then you just got these Pachirisus. And now we're still kind of making our way. We're farming some items. We've got some Raspberries. We've got some Hopal Berries. Hopal Berries is one of the craft materials for stealth sprays. Uh, good time to mention Stealth Sprays, because you're going to use one right here. Uh, stealth Sprays basically silence your movement. Pokemon can still see you if you run in front of them, but they basically cannot hear you and your footsteps. Makes it much easier to travel fast uh, without having a Pokemon be alerted to your presence. And that'll be really yeah, important I, for I, these guys because the, these Hippotas have very much a hive mentality. So if one gets uh, ticked off, all of them it's will so annoying. be ticked off. So there goes one, and they're all going to go here. Also, something I'm not sure we mentioned. I, I might have missed it, we might have, but um, in order to actually get points for any research, you have to do catch at least one of them. So, yeah, you have to own the Pokemon in order for any research points that you've done on the Pokemon account. Uh, I was going to say about the Stealth Spray, I have to explain to the new players all the time, it is not an invisibility potion. You can still be seen. Because <laughs> a lot of people like like throw up the Stealth Spray and they're like, why'd that thing look at me and get mad? Like, I had the Stealth Spray on. <laughs> it just prevents you from being heard. Like, that's all it does, which is valuable. When a lot of Pokemon have a caught without being spotted task, um, like uh, like Cricketune. Cricketune uh, has a double point task for being caught without being spotted. Which is why I did that and caught as many as I could. Hi, I'm hoping to have finished. This, uh, this looks a lot different than the Cleavor fights. You are actually just Pokemon battling it. Okay, man. I almost thought you power of love lived that. Yeah, that's what so I thought that too. Was. I was like, <laughs> if this thing loves me already, then I don't know what I'm. Fantastic. I don't know what my training regimen is. Yeah, this Ursa Luna is super tanky, and it's actually a pretty decent level, too. So this is still like a throw uh, the kitchen sink at it, but we have a very targeted approach. Uh, we lead the Carnivine to use Acid Spray, um, because Acid Spray will lower its defense, 
Uh, and then we'll use Psyduck's water moves, which will be super effective, which is great because we'll take advantage of that. Funny enough, it's raining in your game and you're not going to get a boost to your water type attacks in the rain because that's not how that works in this game. Yay. Yay. So, so while Halk is throwing the kitchen sink and the entire freaking house at this Ursa Luna, I'd just like to point out that the gameplay leading up to this fight is probably really jarring for a lot of people who have never seen an Arceus speedrun before. Because you hear Pokemon and you think menuing, execution with, with that in particular, uh, battle strategies and overall luck. Whereas right there, it was execution, 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 make sure that you're looking the right way, make sure you have the right item queued up. It's it's a lot and it can be overwhelming. That was really bad. Well, yeah, no. I, I wasn't able to get a I wasn't able to get a combo on my Psyduck at all. I think uh, normally I can at least do an agile bubble into water poles, but I didn't even get a chance to do agile bubble. Yeah, so you I had just kinda hope that the Psyduck. Yeah, I kinda hope that the slash wouldn't kill me, wouldn't kill Psyduck, but it did. So that's right. I, I personally think this is the most like cognitively difficult Pokemon run. There's a lot of things you have yeah. to keep track of, and it is very easy to just realize that, to miss one thing and have everything kind of fall apart. It's it's cognitively taxing both for beginner players and even uh, advanced players, because as a beginner, keeping just simply keeping track of everything is a task. Uh, but for high level players, you still want to keep uh, keep track of the precise details. Like, for example, you heard Halk say he had three heavy Bidoofs, so he didn't have to evolve one. And that's an optimization you can make on the fly because, you know, just just so intuitively and just like the back of your hand, what all those research tasks are without ever opening the Pokedex in this run. We're taking advantage of kind of just flipping through those pages and reading really fast. Um, so it does, it does, this is not a, this is not like a, like a, your first Pokemon speed run kind of speed run, but we have seen players from other communities come into this game and actually offer a lot to our community. So it was actually really cool to see um, just kind of so many different frames of mind uh, come into a Pokemon game. That's obviously very different from the standard Pokemon game. It's almost like a randomizer. Like, I mean, Kinda. obviously there's there's a lot of stuff that's the same, obviously, but like not not one run is going to match up with another. Like that, yeah, that's, and that's, that's the problem because be like when people think of speedrunning, they think of like a very rigid route, you know, do this every single time. And like that works to an extent in this game, but what makes you, you know, better and makes you stand out from other people's runs is being able to do those my, those tiny things. Like a, a person that's getting started, it's perfectly okay to evolve Bidoof, you know, just to make sure, you know, you have those points. Like it's as hard, you get better, hardest text box in um, the game. Yeah, pro <laughs> level player by the way. As I'm, you know, can't even leave the area. Uh, but yeah, basically, like you know, you'll learn to cut corners. That's basically what makes top level players different from like you know somebody that's just starting is being able to cut as many corners as possible. Hey, look, we're in the village. Donations. <laughs> yep. Yes. Okay. Sweet. All right. <laughs> So at the moment, we are over $75,000 to that $250,000 that we need for attacking and dethroning the Pokemon God. So please continue to get your donations in for that. I want to hear your stories about Pokemon. I want to hear your favorite Pokemon. I want to hear your favorite Hisawayan. I want to hear how much you love Adamant like I do and why. And then um, and I want to talk about a couple of these, like $675 coming in from Cullen, who says, for best bear, Pangoro. Then we have two hundred dollars from Dabinsk saying, "Let's see that dog." I, I mean, Giratina. <laughs> you have five hundred and fifty dollars from Drake, who says, "Money came up a little lean this year, but I am still happy to donate." Let's see some hard Pokemon fights. You have fifty dollars from Calf Gaming, who says, "Let's get that Pokemon Legends Arceus glitch exhibition met." We have a hundred and fourteen dollars from Natalie, who says, "Is it?" Too early to start the Pokemon deck, uh, Pokedex number donations? Here's $114 for the Kalos regional dex number of my precious baby Esper and their adorable thousand yard stare. Also, Franz rides. We have $50 from Sarah, C Sarah Caesar, who says, $20 hype train? How about $50 hype airboat for my favorite franchise ever, Pokemon? <laughs> A few of my family members have recently survived cancer because it was caught early. 
Let's get those incentives and donate towards a good cause. Here together. Less than three. Oh my god, they both got in. That's crazy. Or wow, it's still, it's still very so. rainy in your game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, can I can I do my weather a bit? Because weather is actually sure. important in this. You sounded so like... You sounded I, so excited. You're like, yeah, yeah whatever, let me, talk about weather. let me do this. So, Legends Arceus is the first Pokemon game with random overworld weather. And with everything occurring in the overworld, including the battles... Are you okay? Okay. Wow, they, the, he wasn't hungry. So with everything, uh, he, 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 he is hungry, he just can't do anything about it. That's, he was, it's, he was, it's a really unfortunate existence for oh. this tangle. He's stuck. <laughs> Please help him. That hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. He's help him. I can't. <laughs> can I open the thing? I can let him out. He might be saved. Maybe. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes. see Pat, random yes. weather. He's, he's, free. Free. he's free! He's free! He's free! He's free! He's free! He's free! Thank God. That's the most wholesome thing My I saw poor today. My baby! <laughs> so, <laughs> Silly. that's a hard follow-up. Uh, Legends Arceus is the first Pokemon game with random weather. It does affect everything in the overworld, which battles occur in the overworld. So, if the weather changes mid-battle, you have to deal with it. Uh, you I've been think... waiting a long time to say this. <clears throat> that's never happened before. <laughs> Hey! Yeah. Yeah. I want bingo. <laughs> <laughs> so you might think, oh, if the weather is random, then it is unpredictable. But ha ha! I am a meteorologist, so I know how to forecast this. And instead of a deterministic approach, we take a probabilistic approach to forecasting our weather. The probability of precipitation, or pop, as it is called. For each of the re regions are as followed. Fieldlands, it's 18% terrain. Here in um, here in Mirrorlands, it's a 30% chance at any given time. In the next area, Coastlands, it's 20% chance. In Highlands, it is a 35% chance to rain or snow. And in Icelands, it's a whopping 45% chance to snow in your game. Um, I kind of mentioned like rain does not benefit water type moves but it still dulls fire type moves it's uh vice versa for harsh sunshine you don't get a fire type boost but water moves get a uh penalty but we are probably most concerned if we ever see fog in this game because like in the uh way back days of gen 4 where fog reduces your accuracy in game uh so too does that here because we are in the way back past except way way farther back past uh, so we will be concerned about any fog that we see, because then we might miss moves, because that was a great mechanic. And that's your Hasuian weather report. I feel like there should have been, like, smooth jazz in the background the entire time I, during that. I, because I hang out with you all the time, I, I literally could envision your hand movements during oh, same. that entire yeah. explanation. And now to keys with sports. Oh, yeah, uh, Tangle is free. Woo! Yay! <laughs> And My we sport. received word that a Tangela has been freed from a rock. Breaking we now news. go to our on-site reporter with the full scoop. There's an angry Lilligan. <laughs> a good surprise. Nothing just free in this area. area. <laughs> Over to you, Lilligan. Oh man. So uh, those you horns? may have seen me. Um, you may have seen me like kind of tag the diamond settlements. Uh, that was actually completely pointless. But I'm just now remembering that the purpose of getting that warp point is in completely irrelevant for this category. It's, it's an 80% thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Muscle memory. It's a huge Muscle thing memory. when you play multiple categories. All right, so Dark Souls time once again. This is the least interesting one. You just kind of dodge. I think it's the hardest one. Personally. It's, it's the I, hardest one to optimize because uh, the two attacks that we're going to see here is the high jump kick. Uh, and the shock waves. The high jump kicks are, they happen pretty fast, so it is hard to get a very accurate aim and throw on Lilligans. Uh, you're doing a pretty good job here. Uh, and it the shock waves are very easy to dodge, but you can you can time your, uh, your roll dodge in such a way to as little interrupt your own throwing as possible. I love watching the boss fights in this. They're really good. 
you're gonna see health throw a couple bombs in the air because when the uh, when you get past halfway, the each of these noble Pokemon will do like this rage shout, and they have iframes. Uh, we cannot damage them while they are shouting and angry after their halfway point. Um, so we try to like lob a couple up so that when the invincibility runs out, they then fall on them at that point while we're throwing directly Oh, that directly to evolve, that's so good. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get two Teddy Ursus in my party, but I kind of forgot when I started mass catching uh, Cricketunes and I caught a Paris in my party also. I do have two Teddy Ursus for sure. I just don't know uh, if they're both unspotted. First one, certainly. But um, the problem with the Teddy Ursus where I grabbed them is that they're part of an alpha horde. And uh, when Pokemon are part of an alpha horde, when one is disturbed, they all have a chance, an RNG chance of just erupting and being aggro. But the second one I caught wasn't aggroed for some reason, so. Big hive knows. mentality. Mm -hmm. Is that why the Hippotas are always like, so mm, yeah, once you off. catch one, it is RNG whether they perk up and get angry or not. So this like, always uh, happens to me when I was learning because you used to feed six, catch one, and that is now definitely not what you do. But like when you feed the same Hippotas twice, it's like, nah, dude, nah, you fed me once. I don't like that. And then it and then and then it's just so they're just cats. Yeah, yeah. they're just, they're just cats. cats. Yeah. If you think about it, hippos one, are just big cats. I, for one, would like to see a hippopotamus drawn with cat ears. And, uh, yeah, get, get out of chat. No, 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 give it, give it like the cat ear uh, headphones. Do we have ah. a little time? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, yes. go for it. Yes, question mark? Okay, great. Because we just got another $10,000 from Fangamer. Woo! Let's hey. go. Oh, my God, that's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Fangamer. Um, they say, hey, everybody, Fangamer here. We've got to squeeze in one more Dex number donation before the end of AGDQ. So get ready for the return of this stampede of 10,000 Bulbasaur. Bulba, Bulba, Bulbasaur. It's a lot of Bulbasaur. I'm so happy. It's my favorite Pokemon. So, yeah. It's approximately Would how you... many Bulbasaur were posted earlier when I mentioned shenanigans. Would it's you time, rather Chad. fight 10,000 Bulbasaur size horses or. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> But we do have $100 from uh, Fryce who says, hashtag blame keys. So, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but. So one thing to mention really quickly is um, Ginter refreshes his inventory every time you've caught 20 Pokemon. So Did it has been 20? 20 Pokemon since I, uh, I caught 16 yesterday and 11 today. So that's more than 20. The math adds up. Uh, I'll take the Pokeball set, I guess. I want to make sure I have enough bug warts to make uh, the stealth sprays for how many uh, hopos I have. It's a lot. Ooh. Oh, that'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. Do you buy, uh, do you yeah, buy so. irons here, or do you skip that I shop? Will. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. You mentioned Shen, and that's all chat is, right? <laughs> yeah. I also work, we're we're working towards the 10,000 Bulbasaur. We're kind of back in the, so the plot zone again, as we are once again back in Jubilife Village. Mm hmm us. Yeah, more donations, please. Yeah. So, yeah, so does that mean donations? Yay! Okay. <laughs> we have an $83.10 anonymous donation for my boy Wooloo831. Rolls around with no thoughts, just vibes. No, I'm down for that. I'm down. I wish that were me. I bet is me. <laughs> We've also got the $250. This is from Ace Trainer Blue, who says, Good luck to the Pokemon runner. Bulbasaur is just fun. And fifty dollars from Zenadir saying, "Here's another fifty dollars towards de de towards dethroning God." That was a tough word to say for some reason at this point. Especially be uh, something I especially support because Typhlosion is my favorite starter line. Though I much prefer uh, Jotonian over Hisuian. Something about nostalgia or the beauty of a simpler design. I'm not the only one, right? Right? They're talking about sneezing. You know what kung fu? We we've, we've been talking all week, so you you can flub a word or two. It's fine. Oh, trust me, I have. Hashtag Spike Uyama. Spike Uyama. Spike Uyama. <laughs> um, also, just a quick update: we are about to hit fifty-seven thousand dollars for the one hundred thousand we need for that glitch exhibition, and we are over seventy-eight thousand dollars into the two hundred and fifty thousand we need to attack and dethrone Pokemon God. We need to see this, everyone. We need to see it. Get, I don't know, give me, give me your 
favorite Pokemon song. I'll do all of To Be a Master. I don't care. Okay. Send it up. We'll read it out. It's going to happen. It's going to be fun. Yeah, we have a lot more time for donations, but real quick, I want to indicate somewhere between the development of this game and the development of Scarlet and Violet, uh, they did decide that saying you don't like Pokemon is no longer okay. Because I can say true. that I don't like Pokemon here, but in the interview in Scarlet and Violet, you know, one time on a speeder and I thought it'd be funny and say no. no I had to restart that interview. I oh, did sorry. it. I did it in my casual playthrough because I also thought it would be funny. And then I was like, man, I've, been, I've never been more punished in my life. Okay, donations. Yeah. <laughs> I know you always gotta, you always gotta. Th Again, it's the whole thing before you speak. Some people decide to do that, some people don't. It's totally cool. Um, <laughs> we have uh, $500. This is coming in from Jamin, who says, Ever since one of my friends introduced me to GDQ with ATDQ 2020, I have thoroughly enjoyed hanging around and watching all sorts of games getting incredibly broken. Thank you all. Uh, thank you for all that you do, and let's see some more Pokemon. We've also got $100 from Vulcan146 saying, my wife said she'd shiny hunt a three-segment Dun sparse for me if I donated $100 for the Arceus battle. I think somebody Good here luck. has one of those. Good luck. I, I Good do. Luck to I them. have one. He's got it on his first try. <laughs> on like, accident. Oh, my gosh. That's up. Okay. That's okay, up. so I did not catch two, he two unspotted Teddy Arceus, but one of them is heavy. Absolutely saved. Bailed out. <laughs> I probably do like at okay, least one more. So this, this, yeah, this guy has a cutscene real quick where he, uh, you know, wants to tell you about uh, Pikachu dolls, and they kind of. Yeah, they exist. It's sent. It's sent in the past. It is <laughs> sent in the past. Oh, I have no tumble stones. Okay, here we go. Fifteen dollars. This is from Waluigi Ten K, who says, "You know, this was coming, Kizaron. Give us the cry of the Pokemon we didn't knock on wood for." Ha <laughs> Okay, you can do it after this. Jokes aside, this donation was made in honor of my good friend who, thanks to early detection, is able to conquer cancer. Watching these marathons for years have taught us to always value life and those around you who make it full. I'm super proud to be supporting this event and its charities. Without Games on Quake and its wonderful staff, we wouldn't be supporting the causes the way we are right now. Let's have an awesome finale later on, and much love to all of y'all. GDQ hype! All right, Keys. The, the thing I like the most about the online events is every time I do it, it just clips and stops on Discord. So everyone's just like, did you do it? Oh, so I don't even <laughs> have but, uh, to, to turn my volume I don't down. Know. We'll, we'll see. Okay. We'll, we'll see if Discord treats me better or not. Just <clears throat> no, yeah, we got it. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's one. How, how many more are you going to make me do? <laughs> you, you found, the, um, you found the sweet spot of the audio now. Hey, let me let me look. Let me look. Let me see if there's. No, more. I, I think it's. I think it's Discord's engineers have like seen keys dude enough that they were like, all right, we gotta we gotta edit our our noise detection yeah. algorithm to get that through. Our noise gate is is keys proof now. <laughs> I did find another one. <laughs> oh God. dollars and eighty one cents from Doctor Gun saying one hundred for my favorite his way and form Voltorb plus eighty one for my favorite of all time Magnemite. I the love Magnemite. How about a Sorry. How about a Hisuian jinx cry? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's different about it? Is it dying? It's just slower <laughs> and angrier. It, but it wasn't quite Dynamax because that was like blah blah yeah. blah blah. Geez, I want to hear your Dynamax version. The his okay okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Some <laughs> I felt that one in my throat. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, and I was the one doing it. Keys, did you? Is this you? There's another twenty dollars from Keyseron. That that is not me. Okay, <laughs> somebody named Keyseron. Uh -oh, imposter. An, an imposter. <laughs> imposter Keyseron says, "Was this donation shiny yet? How many do I have to donate before I get a shiny?" Um. So it depends, but you should probably do probably 2048 to be safe. I'm going to assume that it's a breakout, and that gives you more shiny rolls. So there's a chart there you go. online. Um, we're gonna so lose this is fight. Cobalt Coastlands. This is uh, my favorite area, personally. Oh, but it's I'm also sure. it's also it also features the hardest segment in the run. It sure does. So this this place has everything. Right? It's got Mantine. It's got Drifloon. 
that it does. <laughs> it's got Chaytot. It? It's got everything. That's right. It has hold. It has what? Chaytot. Hi. I think we're done it? with letting you say Pokemon names. <laughs> I think we're. I think that's a thing we're done with. J jokes you on you. You're actually going to going to catch the Chaytot. It's not a Chaytot. Chaytot. <laughs> the Hoomst. Hoomst says it that way. <laughs> I'm so upset right now. <laughs> Can you please you know, make you know, your next donation coming in? Ot, like chatting. Yes. Chaytot. If you're like, going to uh, donate, uh, please uh, give us it's signature phonetic move is pronunciations Pokemon. Yeah, you use like the I Wikipedia way of here. saying how words are pronounced. Like to I, just tell I'm, us how to pronounce words. Okay, chat's dragging me. Oh, man. <laughs> I sure love Dryflim. <laughs> Dryflim. <laughs> Maintenance pretty cool. <laughs> this just sounds like mayonnaise. Matinee. <laughs> so you all, this area you is all, cool. You all know the proper... I mean, look, people, like people mispronounce Pokemon all the time. Nobody yeah, says Ferocity <laughs> because they're wrong. I got a Leaf Stone. I hate that this isn't catchable. <laughs> People, nobody says Ponita, right, even so though that's this what is the PBR first says. part that's going to be very, very, very different from any run that's ever been shown for any percent. Yeah, because what I would do here is after bullying the Machops and Machokes, is you kind of like backtrack a little bit and go up this hill. That's to your left, right, right, left. Stop spinning around. <laughs> uh, but instead, no, Hulk's just going to go straight forward. This is the one thing you told me that you were going to do in, in the new GDQ route. Could you imagine being that Machoke and just being like at the beach flexing? Some dude just runs up to you, throws a bunch of uh, mud in your face, and then gets on their deer and runs away. I, yeah, I sure this. love even, Mach okay. And that's the funny Great thing. He doesn't, he, he doesn't even catch it. It's just like, it's just, it just bullies and leaves. Oh, you're getting the wisp. That's fun. Yeah, go get it. Yeah. 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 19 Only left. 106 to go. Honestly, I prefer getting all the wisps to getting all the the stupid stakes. Oh, I haven't even finished the stakes and in, in violet. Um, it was annoying. As someone who was stuck in area one for a million hours, this pleases me to see. <laughs> that wasn't right, too bad, and you got a Vulpix right away. So I did get a Vulpix. So what you would typically do cool. is you would go in a different direction and and go get some Growlithe, but now we don't go by the Growlithe anymore. Um, but the glam meows and the Vulpixes are still pretty standard. Why'd you run in front of that one? Uh, I didn't really care to eat. It served its purpose. Actually, I'm going to stealth break. I want to go grab that berry tree real quick. And I are at my newly acquired leaf stone. Fun fact about the root of this game. Um, near the beginning, uh, nobody realized how the stealth sprays thing? are. And, uh, it sucked. Stealth sprays really are fun. great, but imagine. wait until you hear about scatter bangs. Keys, you wouldn't know anything about that. I, it's a fake item. It's not even real. You know what is real, though? Donations? A donation or 12. Perfect. I was just looking through some of the ones just sent up to read through to you all. Okay. All right, so we have, um, this is $100 from Zach. It says, I ran into two shiny Sneasels at once. The odds of that happening are about one in 16,666,624. Those are some long, odd... Um, actually... Sorry, I'll see myself out. <laughs> if you have uh, some research done on a Pokemon, it increases your shiny rate. If you also have the shiny charm, it also increases your shiny rate. So there's a lot going on with the shiny calculation chance. There's numbers! So if numbers. you have a perfect, I think that also gives you another roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was watching Keys on Twitch.tv, and you were shiny hunting the Silicobra in Violet, and then you had two sand dials pop out shiny in the same in the same wave. Yeah, yeah. Shinies don't make sense. That, that's just... Math is hard. I'd never seen your mind blown as much as that. It, it was a thing. Look, Growlithe's Cute Growlithe. They are very Hisuian cute. Growlithe is such a buddy. I love him. Right. What a pal. Oh, I have a Hisuian have... Growlithe plush. Hold on. We have just over an hour left, by the way, and uh, we are now at 80000 uh, Almost $81,000. No oh, 
$81,000 um, to that $250,000 for the attack and dethrone the Pokemon God. So make uh -huh. sure you keep getting your donations in for that. I'll do the Poke Wrap. Just give me to, you know, let's make it happen. Be great. <laughs> but only in, it's only like a handful at a time, okay? <laughs> we probably have time for one more quick one because the 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 this area is get, about to get pretty heavy. Sure. Okay, then $114 from Mi uh, Mi MX Tangy Tangrowth who says, Dex donation from Tangela. I'm free. Thank you, Halk. Love the run on the couch. Now let's dethrone God. So in this section, after uh, Halk is done uh, party managing, we're going to have a very tight movement section and timing section. Uh, he's going to reset the time of the day to evening. And evening is the shortest day part um, because it has nothing to do with like what time your switch is set to. There's just a natural day-night cycle. Uh, evening time only lasts for two minutes. In that time, we're going to see Halk feed and catch uh, Sfeels. They're very cute. Uh, he'll try to catch maybe like a, uh, a Bweasel, a Floatzel, a, a Togepi, a Beautifly, uh, the cha Chatots, uh, Chatots, or however you want to pronounce Chay them. And, and be in position for when the time turns to nighttime because there will be a plot required, and I have to say this correctly, Dusk Noir that you will have to catch among other things. And at which, and at that point, we will be in what's called the Dusk Zone, because the Dusk Zone contains Pokemon like Dusk Clops, Dusk Tox, and Dusk Skull, all in the same area, and they are very hard to say together. Uh, so we just call it the Dusk Skull. Um, the other weird thing, if you've ever played this game casually, a lot of the nighttime spawns are very high aggro Pokemon. So if they see us or hear us at any point, they will all get very mad very quickly. Um, so that's what makes this part of the area very, very difficult to accomplish. You know, it was Kung Fu that was supposed to do the poker rap, not you. <laughs> It would, listen, if you if you if you, if you if you throw in a dust clops, dust tox, dust skull, and you are able to hold a wrap, I would be very impressed. In fact, I would probably donate for that. Listen, I'll definitely at least do the original 150 if we meet um if we meet the incentives. If we meet both incentives. I'll do the the whole original song. How about that? What do we think? I guess. You, yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I would be impressed. I mean, I get it. There's a thousand and eight Pokemon now. <laughs> yeah, now. You have to do oh all of them. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. I don't. I was like, I don't know how to sing the lines between anything past the 150. Just use your triplets. Just use your triplets. Yeah, triple flow. Come on. <laughs> there they are, May. Do you see them? I love them. I love them so much. I'm so happy they got brought back in this game and then... Are oh, not the way. It is nighttime. No, they're not in Scarlet Valley, but you know. Triplip! Goodbye. You must really love this zone. It goes from Chatots to, to, this to Drift This is the best and, zone in the game. Limbs. Like, Halk was a thousand percent right. This zone goes hard. Come on, come on. Do you, do you, have, do you have a sec for a donation? Yeah, go for it. Okay, because we have $10 from Dr. Zom. Zom, my God, um, PhD, who says. Oh man, these mispronunciations are hilarious. I nearly choked laughing. By the way, ever heard of that Pokemon Makoki? Makoki? Machoke? Is that like a product placement for Coke? <laughs> it's supposed to be Machoke. It's supposed that to be. Was, that's a stretch. You're giving that a lot of credit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it made me laugh. I, I did that earlier and I forgot. There, there. <laughs> There, there is one Pokemon that I pronounce more questionably in the minds of a lot of people than the Chaitot. And that is? Uh, Chimecho? Huh? Uh, what? Chimeco, but... Chimeco? Man. <laughs> Just for that, I'm not catching Drifloon. No, 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 catch Drifloon. No. All right, fine. Yay. Yeah! Uh, if it gets in, it gets yeah. in. If it doesn't, so, it doesn't. I'll I tell you. it breaks out. For whatever reason... It did not break when out. I, yeah. yeah! For whatever reason, when I was young, I just never re realized that it was a chime. And so my brain just read it that way, and then it couldn't fix it. I almost thought you were going to say, when I was a kid, I got abducted by a Drifloon, and now we're BFFs. 
<laughs> You're the kid in the st in the lore of the drip loons. I don't uh, look. I I Chaitot, I think makes sense. Chemicho, I have nothing for it. But look, I'm looking. That's the problem. I you take were, full you... responsibility for that one. I am I'm trying to learn and move on from it. And by that I mean I keep bringing it up. So. Jeez, you were angry at that dust ox. You stunned it and I ultra want balled it. it. <laughs> I want it so badly. Oh my goodness. Uh, one of the things that I'm actually really helped me uh, in running this game was something that health taught, taught me. And it was like, assume everything breaks out. Because if your That's mentality is you throw a ball and it gets in, uh -huh. you will ultimately be disappointed when it breaks out. So... Having that mentality of like waiting for things to get in and knowing how to handle it when it doesn't uh, really helped me a lot. There is also a weird little mechanic where when you catch a Pokemon or like when you hit a hit a Pokemon with a Pokeball, it could either do a short hop or like a triple hop shake. And if you ever see a short hop, it is a guaranteed catch. Because how the mechanic works in this game is that it uh, it rolls two. Um, like two checks, like catch checks. And if it succeeds one of them, it will always catch. Uh, if it succeeds the first one specifically, it will do a little short hop, and that's how we can tell. Uh, that's different from the normal Pokemon mainline games where it does like four checks and you have to succeed all four. And that is uh, indicative of how many shakes that you get. So if you succeed three and fail the last one, you get a three shake break. Three shake break is fun to say. It is fun to say. Awful mechanic. Yeah, basically the, the game checks clear. twice, and the first one, if it low bounces, that means it's past the first check, basically. They you streamlined know the catch it mechanic. It. it was a smart decision. You could also catch Pokemon in the overworld, which was amazing. God, I miss it's it so like, much. It, it's crazy that they had so much issues with Scarlet and Violet because, like, they presumably worked in the same office. They could just go into the other room and say, "Hey, how'd you guys do throwing?" Well, these games yeah. were how, how did you? These games are developed. They were developed side by side, so they were working in presumably two offices in the same building. So. Scarlet and Violet team should have just come over to the RC room. Like, hey, it's not. How'd you guys implement throwing? What what code did you guys use? <laughs> hey, hey, and then they, they just did, they, did they not had, take any of that. They help, had that conversation, help. and they were like back strikes. Help. And that was the only thing they kept. Help, that what, was the only advice they what, got. What years was this game developed? Uh, 2019 to 2020. What happened in those years that is the reason why this event, oh. that these look, events man. have been online? <laughs> look. look. I I don't know what to tell you. Get it done. I think something That's might no have happened. No excuse for bad gameplay. I think That's something no might excuse. have happened. Is all I'm saying. Maybe. You might be onto something. I'm so sad this Machoke's not ready to evolve right now, but it's okay. Alk, is it time for the donation break? Because we're about to enter a very long Just cut about. scene. Just oh, about. Yeah, actually, you can get one. started. Okay, 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 here we go. Hmm? We have $80 from Nick, who says, What's up, Kung Fu and Twitch chat? Long time watcher, second time being able to donate. I'm so excited to see my new favorite Pokemon game, Arceus, being run at a GDQ. I'm donating $80 for my bro, Flowbro. Also, a big thank you to all the runners from this week, the tech crew for keeping the stream running smoothly, Boo and all the other amazing commentators and couch members. Keep up the strong work, Hal. Let's see some Poke glitches. And most importantly, kick cancer's butt. P.S. I will donate another twenty dollars if the couch and Fu give their best Pikachu impressions. I'm I'm gonna do it. You okay, all wait. Do that? Which Pikachu? Uh, I just do, one I just I just do like the <laughs> no, not the one from the game. Probably I would do like the the show one. I do a pretty good Pikachu like, getting fainted in Pokemon X Y. Oh, you do. Oh, do that. It's very good. Do that one. Pika, pika. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is good. All right, here's mine, here's mine, here's mine. That's pretty good. Oh, that's, that's excellent. This is better than what I could do. Uh, my name's <laughs> Pika Pika. Oh. Nice. Keys? Keys? Perfect. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Pikachu. Nice. We got there. Pika Pika. Oh, so <laughs> that good. That was very good. May does a very good. XY Pikachu. Keep going. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Yeah, we what, just ended that cutscene. Oh, sorry. 
Go for it. Yeah, we okay. just entered that th really long cutscene I was telling you about. Oh, great. So we have like actual mm -hmm. lots Three minutes. of time right now. Okay. Um, $25 from Anonymous who says, which would be better at attacking and dethroning God? 10 Kizaron sized Bulbasaurs or 100 Bulbasaur sized Kizaron? <laughs> <laughs> what I do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, $200 from B Doof, who says Doof? Doof. We have $5 from Brawly, who says $5 for Chaytot. And $20 from. <laughs> $20 from Aeon Frodo. What's up, Aeon? Saying, hey, Hulk, it's fantastic seeing you on the big stage finally. It was also great meeting you with the past RPG Limit Break where we were practicing our speed runs side by side while also explaining our speed games to each other. I hope I can fly out again soon to see you and your couch. By the way, Blaziken is the best Pokemon. <laughs> we have 15... I'm sorry, Keys. $15.70 from <laughs> Kill the May Man who says, Typhlosion donation? Can we hear Keys do their best Halkery cry? Huh? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is true. Sure that, is. This, this is that's literally true. Because when I started learning catch them all, Helga's like, oh, great. That's exactly what we need. A weather man. Yeah, I was literally in the middle of getting owned waiting for a distortion. And somebody in my chat said, hey, T-Pat's going to be learning catch I'm like, fantastic. That's exactly what we need right now. Because I was the, dealing with, like, really bad weather. The, the... <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah, Thunderstorm, Blizzard, and Harsh Sunline. Such sunshine, specifically. Okay. Al just wants to go home and he's already there. <laughs> so true. Right, listen, these donations are so good. Okay, can we have um we have fifty dollars from Brace and Robot who says, Hi, quick Pokemon question. Does J Tot evolve into J Tear Tot? Thanks. We've also we have, we have twenty-five dollars from Crow Party who says my favorite, my Gen 1 favorite is pronounced Hidgihot, right? Right? So I have five dollars from Ragged saying my husband is adamant that hoot hoot is pronounced hoot. I had myself muted that whole time. Oh no! Whoops! Oh, no, I um, heard you, man. Okay. I heard your I heard your Che tune. Yeah, stream so. didn't. <laughs> mm. I'm a professional. Right, one hundred and twenty. Okay, one hundred twenty-four dollars from um, Asar Zuman saying in honor of my favorite GDQ interviewer, runner, couch commentator, and runner Kizaron. I'm donating at $124. Don't look, man. Don't Pokemon look. Pokemon Jinx. Thank you for being awesome, Keys. I didn't even ask you to do the impression. Just love right there. You don't have to look at it. It's just, it has to get done and it has to be Drifloon. No! <laughs> and you're not even Thank killing it. goodness. Oh, you didn't kill it. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, he didn't it's kill it. It's just, you know, poisoned in the wild. No big deal. It'll be fine. And it's and when you leave battle, it's not poisoned anymore, anyways. That Drifloon yeah, is fine. It felt no pain. <laughs> No, no Drifloons were harmed in the making of the speedrun. Okay. Um, we're about I'm... to get... Actually, May, you will love this part because we're about to get to Shellos Island. I do like the Shelloses. They're good. The, the Shellos Island. You know what's after the Shellos Island? Mantine. Maybe. You behave. So Shell Shellos is actually a really That's important not... Pokemon because this is like one of our... like. It's one of the Pokemon of our final main team uh, for both this category and just for plain old any percent. I assume you're looking for the most powerful one. I gave up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I saw 33 and I'm like, that you'll do. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> what enough. do you want from me? He saw you. It wants to be your friend. I'm, I'm full. I've got six friends. You can have more than six. It's true. The game wants you. A little no fact. You can, in fact, catch them all. Speaking you know, of catching them all, you know, we want to get all of the incentives. You know, if we if we reach both of these incentives for Arceus, we would probably hit that 2.5 million. Oh, real quick, I'm there's a really saying. cool Pokemon coming up. It's then, Mantine. Then maybe get back from donations. Yeah, Mantine. Uh, sorry, I passed Mantine. Anyways, um, 
actually, I don't think oh, it's not gonna work because I ran out of my stealth spray. I didn't so I've been watching the NBA Jam on like the on like the the in between no. screens, and you're basically just gonna do that. Hello? Oh, you, hello! You are gonna get what owned. is happening? Whoa, that was from, from down, down. down. All right, anyways. So these tentacles are really cool because if you like jump <laughs> up, okay. wow, he just <laughs> owned you. Uh, if you're good, you can jump above them. It forces them to come out of the water, and you dunk on them. Like, you NBA Jam dunk on these fools. So we used to... I'm that's terrible way. at what it. You are the not. Day? Mm. We caught Finny That's fine. There's one more I can catch. That's fine. That sucked. You There's did, one more. I can redeem myself. You did You did one. Good. Well, we need, to, we need to get two dunks and one defeat. So, come on. Come on, Halk. Game's on the line. This is this is a buzzer beater right here. Yeah! If it gets in. It did. Yeah! All right, we're yeah. good. Yeah! I have ample time to catch a man time. Uh, it's not here, sorry. Uh, we're going to go for everybody's favorite evolution, Finneon. It is an evolution. I hate Finneon. I hate Finneon so much. Oh, I hate we, Finion we, too. We, this we game made me hate it. Yeah, same. Fin Finions are strange in this game because they just like swim on certain paths, and to complete the research for it, you need to catch four. Uh, but if you catch two, you get like to research research rank eight, and then you got to get the last two to just get twenty more research points off of it. Yeah, so I didn't really bother going for four because of what T Pat just said. Yeah, it's, a, it's like you you hope for two, and if you get four, that's amazing, but... Um, um, just a quick update, if that's cool. We are over $85,000 we need for that $250,000. We're attacking and dethroning the Pokemon God. I know you all want to see it. We are so close to the end of the marathon. Let's hit that $2.5 million and get that incentive met. Chat, if we do not attack and a throwing god by the end of this, uh, or during this event, like, what was it all for, you know? It was for good should cause, it was for charity, but it could also be for attacking and dethroning god. Which would also be for charity. Yeah, so it's a win-win. Uh, uh, we got some time for donations real quick. Sure thing, Alrighty. Um, so Speaking of, we have $50 from Slurmaholic saying, yet another amazing GDQ. No way to incentivize how amazing this SMB3 run is going to be. But no incentive left behind. And there's a Pokemon God? Gotta see that then. Let's finish strong and hopefully we will be able to see each other in person for the next one. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cool. $25 as well from Alex who says, my husband fell asleep during the run and therefore cannot dethrone Pokemon God. So I'm sending my donation in for Halkyrie and Couch to do it for us. Nice crit, definitely mattered. Definitely. I sure yeah. love this yeah. Abana snow raining. in this volcano. Good, good call. <laughs> she yeah, she actually about complains it about it. Yeah, yeah. she's like, oh, that wasn't fair. Abana snow is so hot. She threw it volcano. out. You can read a couple more, I think. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, uh, one hundred and twenty dollars from anonymous who says I donate every year and love watching all the awesome runs. Had to donate during Pokemon with my two favorite. Two favorites being Gengar and Raichu, hence the 120. Put this toward dethroning the Pokemon God. I felt like not donating God. during this run would dethrone be dethrone God. Dethrone God. We've had a lot I of Gengar. I felt like not donating. We've had a lot of Gengar this... donations. Yes, for sure. And Bulbasaur. Um, I felt like not donating during this run would be bad luck. In the words of the great Michael Scott, I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little suspicious. I don't know how I ended up with that low of a level of a chat. Chaitot. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, Todd. Uh, I, th I swear I saw a 32 or something in my box, and I don't know why I wouldn't have picked it. <laughs> it was weird. Never. You were having out. an existential crisis on how to pronounce it, so you picked the oh, wrong yeah. one. I'm just gonna say that right. if, if we don't if we don't make the incentive that I'm then that I'm gonna say that is it proof for me, proof enough for me that Chat likes my pronunciation and it's the official one because they didn't donate to tell me I'm wrong. We can't let that stand. Oh no. Chat, please. Please. Uh, please. No, it's not chat. It's Che. Che, please. Please. So, real quick, um, 
because I was faster and because I'm at full health, I'm going to go and do a strong mud bomb, which is only still 95% accuracy. But what this is going to do is it's going to make Gengar only go for Dark Pulse because it doesn't want to miss. And for some reason, they made every move that ends with the word Pulse in this game never miss. So two Dark Pulses don't kill me unless it crits. Otherwise, it goes for Hypnosis and then Hex, which is annoying. Yeah, again, uh, battle mechanics are a little strange in this game. You cannot lower uh, you cannot lower accuracy, but you can increase evasion. Um, it's just, I don't know, because, you know, Mud Bomb would be, oh, I lowered your accuracy. No, I increased my evasion. Uh, and yeah, pul as you said, pulse moves never miss. They skip the accuracy check. Don't know what that's for, but it is a thing. Hey, May. Yeah. Would you write an essay explaining why your pronunciation is wrong if we hit the incentives? I Ooh. could. How many pages? It could that. be an apology letter. Single spaced. Well, that and the incentives and the poke it wrap. That's a pretty good deal. That's I a lot. Say. We're really sweetening the pot. I almost feel like we're sweetening the pot too much, but. No, mm. no, I, I think we needed this last one. I suppose <laughs> I could. For charity. Well, you heard it, chat. You For heard, charity. Yeah, you heard me, Che. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Arcanine Super Saiyan. I'm just trying to play yeah. the speeder and, and I didn't ask for all this. You did. You Sorry, literally you, asked us. You physically did ask. You're like, hey, three And dum -dums. now I'm being alleged in asking for things I didn't ask for. You asked me in person. Oh, true. Oh, no, I did. That's, is, that, that's, that's undeniable. That, that, themselves... that, that literally caught in 4K. Uh, this fight that is calling themselves Chait now. Yeah, oh. we gotta fix this. Good job, good yeah, job, champ. Um, this you. is probably this was the hardest fight in my opinion, um, but we found a way to manipulate its RNG. This yeah, fight was really nip. cool. Yeah, this, this so so for this fight, um, Arcanine will have two moves. It will have run at you and jump to the center. And anytime you are standing in the center of the arena, it will want to jump to the center. Uh, so we are going to take advantage of that kind of like attack manipulation uh, to get it to do what we want. And we want it to jump to the center. It's going to be much easier to handle Arcanine when it's are doing that. Are you ready, that. AGDQ? Otherwise, what's going to otherwise Arcanine likes to run back and forth across the entire arena. And if he's on the other side, we're not going to be able to hit it. So we want to keep them close by. So this is really, really cool. There was like a different strat that we used to do where we would like run through him, like from the side. Um, but this is this is better. Also, this is Dark Souls because when you dodge roll, you are invincible, and we will literally run through him and not get hit. Uh, don't this try that at home. Cool. It doesn't work in real life. Trust me. You tried. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Fair. May, can I ask you this? Like, because in this game, the fastest way of running upstairs is dodge rolling up the stairs. Have you tried that? Uh, I did once concuss myself uh, falling down the stairs with a blanket <laughs> over my head. Is that enough for you? <laughs> um, this probably explains a lot about my commentary style, all things considered. <laughs> so in the second, <laughs> in the second half of the battle, uh, the attack pattern does speed up a little bit, and the jump to the center then does this fire spin in the middle. Uh, in this case, for how he is still choosing to ignore it, you got one, you were one attack away. Um, yeah, I got greedy. I was just trying to get good. that last hit. <laughs> yeah. So, but if we still jump to the center, even though it's on fire, Arcanine will still want to do that. Uh, if he doesn't do that, he charges up his, uh, like, final attack. I, would, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a fire meteors. And then you have to hit it five times to stop fire him blast. and stun him. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a fire blast. Uh, but he will run to the other side of the arena, so it's kind of annoying anyway. So still jump to the center, still get him to jump there um, with you. And yeah, that was Arcanine. That is three of our lords down, two to go. Unless... 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 Technically, God isn't a lord. In our uh, it, it Pokemon, plays God, like but, a lord. but it plays like a lord, so it, yeah. it counts. Actually, technically, there's four lords and one lady. That's true. 
They actually, uh, Lilligan's name is the Lady on the Ridge. I never noticed that. I, like that. I also never noticed that. You know what else right I haven't noticed? Th- A hmm? donation. Oh, I was going to say, are we going back to Jubilee? Dude, there's been plenty of those. I don't <laughs> yeah. know how you haven't noticed them. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, here we go. Um, $25 from Austin in Japan who says, <clears throat> Couch, what kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? Share with me your secrets deep inside. There we go. And then we've got uh, we've got $151 from Stefan who says, Yes, 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 yes. Hisui's hottest area is the Cobalt Coastlands. This place has everything. Mantine, Drifloon, <laughs> that one musical bird that n- nobody can pronounce. And this weekend, they're dethroning God himself. That's great. Oh, great job, Pooh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this this coastland has everything. Volcanoes, <laughs> Chatots, Sfeels. And now it's over. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, right, right, go. <laughs> We've got $25 from Roy Hem who says, Haiku, I have a question. When it comes to Arceus, is this dog? Did know. they call me Haiku? <laughs> it's just this Haiku. No, Haiku okay. like it's a Haiku. Okay. I was like, that's not my name. I will not respond. To that. No, no, no. A haiku is a type uh, of yeah, poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I just thought that was how okay, they were cool. interpreting my name. Oh, <laughs> I've fair. I've seen some weird fair. ones among the years, and that 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 would be up there. Is this our next mispronunciation? <laughs> haiku. Hey, I do not accept this as a mispronunciation until chat proves me wrong. So, Che. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, oh, we're getting so close to two point three mil, and let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're at. We are over ninety thousand dollars toward attacking and dethroning the Pokemon God. So you all are making it happen, but we gotta keep getting those donations and we have less than 45 minutes to go. What what would you say? How much time do you think we would have left, Hal, from now? Um, 45 minutes sounds about right. Okay, all right, there you go. You have 45 minutes, chat. Let's make it happen. Let's get that 2.5. Let's see That's that uh, de- dethroning the God. Yeah, probably a little bit less than that. Keep that in mind. Um, and we have a $35 donation from um, I- Iris Foffs, who says, the anime pronounces this very good noodle friend, number 350, as Milotic. Please discuss. Milotic is right. Yeah, I agree. Well, they it's Milotic is how they say it in the anime. Milotic. I say Milotic. <clears throat> yeah, Milotic is what I've heard as well. I, I say Milotic, actually, because nobody told me otherwise. Milotic? First. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, 50. $50 from Kaze Goroshi, who says, can Volo be my favorite Pokemon? Mm. Mm. That's opening up a whole new can of worms. Mm. Like, do we consider humans Pokemon? No, I have, mm. At the gate? $20 from Twitch Che, who says, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think May is wrong here about how our name is pronounced. This how one is for Pokemon number, <laughs> Pokemon number 20, Ratichat. Oh my gosh. Uh. I'm so glad that the virtual couch doesn't have a camera because I'm very staring at the camera right now. I'm having a blast. Me too. We have have, have $5 from Argonk who says $5 to attack and dethrone May's pronunciation. (laughs) Come at me. It'll take, it'll take, um, wait, what's 250,000 divided by five? 50,000 of you. You're the one that's good at math. (laughs) Why did it take that long? <laughs> because it's very late. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Keep them coming. I can keep going. Okay, we cool. got plenty of time. Five dollars and sixty-eight cents from Max Kaiser saying donating six dollars or six dollars and fifty-eight cents. Excuse me. Wow, so mixed up there in my little brain. Um, donating six dollars and fifty-eight cents for my favorite Pokemon, Greninja. Also, Arceus must. Fall. Hey, May, look. Melly's on the screen. I love Melly. Oh, Melly, great. Oh, great. Um, I'm Melly. conveniently. So good. You may have noticed I've had my nose buried in my uh, my research uh, just to avoid looking at the screen. <laughs> That's fair. I'm just I think double, Melly... triple, triple checking. As many times as I need to check to get this thing off screen. Quick chat. We need distractions from Melly with more donations. I think okay? Melly is hilarious. I like 
I love a character who is in not who it's not that they won't admit that they're wrong. They're incapable of doing it. Important distinction. Yeah. I'm, I'm in your no, camp, like I think we mean. need some donations to distract us from okay, the fact okay. that Melly's on the screen. <laughs> $13.76 from Gizmo, a limerick. Exploring a region quite broad, with pronunciations all flawed. Let's donate to see our runner Halkiri attack and dethrone Poke God. Yes, Metagross best boy. <laughs> we have $25 from Chippy Dip, who says, you're all wrong. It's Shay Tot, dethrone God. Um, $20 from Clayfex, who says, something my friend and I always argue about is how to pronounce Palkia. So how do you pronounce it? Uh, There's Palkia. I think I say Palkia. 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 I say both interchangeably. Palkia. Palkia. No, I don't. I don't do that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm over So you, you may have noticed that uh, we only have Gaston on our party, um, and this fight is one that it looks like you know we're planning to lose. Now, how could we lose a fight with Gastrodon? All right, we did not get T-Pad, thank yeah. God. Uh, but we did get Leaf Blade. That's good. There are so many uh, things that are described as T-Padded. T-Pad discovered, like, six months after this game's release that sometimes, very, very, very rarely, the Leaf Beyond can choose to do Calm Mind there. It's probably like a 0.5%, 1% chance. I don't know. It's ridiculously unlikely. And then it happened to me three times in a row. And I was yeah, like, after you found that fraud. out, I got it later that week. Me and Shady Gamer X got it later that week. So you literally unlocked it and unleashed and it into the game. And when you guys got it, I have never gotten it since. That Leafeon is Pandora's fox. All right, so the game balances Boom. out the fact that Melly is now here with uh, introducing Ingo. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Ingo. By the how, way, like we got Isekai into this game, but like so did he. Like that's the actual oh, yeah. Gen Five Ingo. May has that's my interesting right lore. Now. May has interesting lore about uh why Ingo okay, in this game. So I read this on Tumblr. So take it with a grain of salt. But, oh my God. but what I heard is that the reason why they specifically brought Ingo into this game is because Ingo is the warden for the Highlands. And I guess Ingo kind of sounds like, like Ingo's Japanese name kind of sounds like climb. So like, it's like Ingo, Ingo the mountain or something like that. And that's like the whole reason. I yeah, you read this. off the Japanese name uh, during my hot fix run. I guess you don't have that handy this no time. Bori. Something Nobori, the, the, something climbing them, Ingoing the mountain with Ingo. <laughs> something along those lines. I, again, I saw this on Tumblr a while ago, and then I couldn't find it again. So it's possible. It's, About it's reputable possible. source? I dreamed it, but. Where's my wood shop? Oh my God, I'm going to say, what are you looking for? Yeah, what are you looking for? Look from here? a shop. The, the, there he is. The, the optimal idea is to only have the Gastrodon in our party, and then we go go catch a bunch of bugs, and then it's Gastrodon yeah. Evolving this Machop, evolving this Machop is going to finish both Machop and Machoke for me. Okay, Chad is said the evening. Chad is backing me up here, so sweet. Thank God I can talk to the back of this tent. Nobori is the word for climb, so yes, that it apparently it checks out. And now I'm on the other side of it somehow. So we're back on evening time, but it doesn't have anything to do with this like tight cycle. It's just the Yanma have a research uh, task for slightly. catching during it has slightly the evening. Something to do with it. A little bit because because um, we yeah. kind of want night. Yeah, we do. Actually, we need night. You're right. The Yanma broke out of a backstrike leading ball. That's like ninety eight percent. That's actually insane. I actually have to go get another Yanma. Did you just call it a leading ball? Yes, yeah, the lead sounds balls. stupid. What? It, what? It That's so much worse than anything I've said. Oh, come on! I hate everything. Oh no! Everything. I hate the way that sounds. But it's like there's no oomph on that. I don't care. Like I, I'm, I'm not against changing the way things are said just to make it sound better. And make and agree. What? <laughs> now that has to be the reason why you pronounce some of the things the way that you do, right? Please don't tell me that's just. You felt like That's just it. how May is. That's just how I am. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. All right. Uh, donations. We have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars from Adam Harris. Who says, "I don't care what anyone says. It's Rayquaza, not Rayquaza." Thank you. Yeah, Rayquaza. That's, I always said that's Rayquaza. Also, thank but you. I kind of, I kind of mix it up Same. these days. Same. Five dollars from Heckhound who says, "Did you know in the Kalos region they pronounce it Chateau instead of Chaitot?" 
Yeah. We also have $25 from Corey. I'm developing empathy Corp. for me because I'm being butchered in the chat room for that <laughs> $25 from Corvitat, who says, Jay, we can do it. Come on, Jay. <laughs> D, throne God. Um, $5 from Edge C saying, donating for getting, donating this for getting a second apology letter. By the way, my sides hurt from laughing so much. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, so we just gotta, so um, we, just follow and go we can here. do. I can give you like a little bit of a preview for the glitch exhibition. Maybe uh, there is like a s very small window, maybe frame perfect. I'm not sure. Um, where I can actually unlock my dash and get really far ahead of Ingo. Let me see if I can do it. I didn't do it. Whatever. All right, duration. Basically, nice I can run though. super far ahead of him, and he doesn't like that, so he pulls you back. And at the end, when you're way far ahead of him, he like zooms to catch up to you. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, oh, and we are. Over sixty-three thousand uh, dollars toward that one hundred thousand we need for the glitch exhibition, and almost at ninety-five thousand for attacking and dethroning the Pokemon God. Come on, chat. We're about to close. We're about to hit another another Jay. big number as well. Smart. So keep it up. We got like half an hour. Let's do it. It's really hard to remember <laughs> to say Che for the bit. Che, come on, Che. <laughs> the terrible. Bit. Yeah, saying lead in ball is definitely a bit for sure. Uh, so. <laughs> well, no, Chaitot is how I say Chaitot, but I don't usually God, call Chay Chay. Che. <laughs> uh, Hulk, I forgot to check how many points you had exiting uh, Coastlands. 66, but like I said, okay. um, no, evolving this Machop is going to give me both Machop and Machoke finished. So remember way back when, when we said we needed 8,500 research points? Uh, I'm close enough. We are doing math because we're trying to figure out what research tasks will get us to that 8,500 point threshold. Uh, 66 is a little low, but like you said, getting both uh, Machoke and Machop uh, basically for free helps with that. Uh, we we I think we finish Yanma. Uh, looks like you're going for Golduck. Uh, we finish Ursarine. Uh, I think you're going to go mud for balls, Mud balls, mud balls, mud balls, mud balls, mud balls. Please give me mud balls. Ah. Well, Ooh, crunchy man. salt. That's, yeah, very useful. Uh, and then we'll also get Gligar, uh, Toxicroak, Skuntank. Uh, we might get Voltorb and or uh, Mr. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of options, and this is where it's like, okay, let's nail down what we need to do based on math. May you love math. I got really, That's really, true. really unlucky, unlucky in how many, uh, Stun how many items, stuns, yeah, so or how many spawns there were for Golduck. There's only two. You, yeah, also, you need a lot of stun items in this oh. game, and they come randomly in certain certain like interactables mm -hmm. or like I don't know what the proper term. Like, piles of mud and piles of straw, and uh, yeah. so sometimes you can just like run low, and it's pretty rough. Yeah, the leaf piles are the best way to farm spoiled apricorns, though mud balls, which are just a random drop from catching Pokemon, uh, are a little bit stronger. Uh, you were very unlucky in Area 3 because, again, you can just you can just get spoiled apricorns in these mud bombs just from catching Pokemon. They're just they usually give you actually, a reward. Actually, actually, actually. It was my fault. I threw them at the dust ox. <laughs> I really wanted you to did dust throw three of them at the dust ox. <laughs> You know yeah. what? That's that's fair though, because I've always had like that one Pokemon in the run where you're just like, okay, buddy, you're getting in I'm the I'm tired. Ball. I was done with it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So like, and usually you can afford to do that for like one Pokemon that's maybe you know not on the track. Uh, like Goldux, we're supposed to stun them. There's a research task for it. Dustox, there is not. It is just you do get a multiplier for catching it, uh, a, stun, a stunned Pokemon. Uh, but you are using those valuable resources, um, and you were unlucky in Area Three because you should have like nine to twelve stun items, like at minimum, going into this area. Mm -hmm. And I think you had like three. It was not good. Yeah, it was not very good. That's okay. There's like a couple things I can finish actually. Uh, actually, I think I've missed my chance on Paris. Plus, I don't think I got any. If I had caught one more Paris, Paris would be done. I think I have to catch one more Hippopotas, then Hippopotas will be done. Um, 
I guess that's another pronunciation to debate. But I've heard many different things for that. Hippopotas. Hippopotas is what, I say. is what I say as well. Or hippopotas, but you usually stop. hippopotas. <laughs> no, you can't just change your answer. The president of hippos, hippopotas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a groan for me, May. Can we just donate? Let me get a quick, to move on. Save us, quick please. hype announcement. Okay. Please. okay. Hmm? Just saying that we have hit over $2.3 million. Woo! Woo! I saw the chat notice that, but I wanted to make sure we said it live as well. So thank you all so much for that. Plus, let's get, we're so close to getting that first 100,000 uh, for the dethroning god. Let's see if we can hit that for, let's get up to 100,000 chat. Let's just, you know, $5 train or something, right? Like a like a $5 train from Anonymous to extend this run of Pokemon RKS Legends. Choo choo. There you go. Come on, Che. We're getting there. Come on, Che. Come on, Che. You can do it, Che. <laughs> You're in so much pain. It, every time the word Che, it's just. <laughs> It's it hurts. I enjoy watching <laughs> the people that I'm commenting for like experience regret in real time. <laughs> you know, you 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 were on my GDQ hotfix uh, you know appearance as well, and it seems I've learned nothing. I know. <laughs> Shout out to the hotfix. But uh, yeah, there's a lot going on, and a lot I wouldn't be able to talk about because I'm focusing. So it's good to have some banter for sure. I did not mean to use hypnosis. I thought an air slash was in that yeah, slot too. I like it's okay. Yeah. I could potentially not move. I like Yanma's pog during you, the uh, strong style. There's no way I die. Ooh, I calculated. You you mean you didn't just set that up to segue that uh, sleep is not a is not a status condition in this game? It's be it's drowsiness. Uh, drowsiness. And it works mean. more. It works more like paralysis where. You can still attack, but you have a chance to not attack. Uh, and the secondary effect is that uh, attacks do more damage to you while you are drowsy. It's cool. I liked it. I particularly liked Frostbite over Freeze. And I'm yes, really I sad that, that that's the mechanic that didn't make it into Scarlet Violet either. I like drowsy because it's realistic, because I also take more damage when I'm tired. <laughs> True. So as you can see, um, okay. now that we're getting these fights with more po with more Pokemon, it tends to be this sort of like revenge killing sort of strategy. Thank God I hit that. That's not that's not a one hundred percent accurate move. I love it. Um, so to finish Yen Mega, I had to catch two without being spotted, and then I need to see it use a strong style move, and I need to see it use ancient power. I just got my strong style move on Yen Mega, and I'll need to see it use ancient power uh, in the final fight of this area against Melly. Yeah, that's the Ingo fight. Very, very solid, except for the hypnosis issue. But, you know, luckily I didn't die to that double edge, so we're fine. It's not it kind of fog, so it could be worse. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I might as well have missed, though. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Listen, you said it, and mm, now there's a 5% chance that we spawn fog before yeah, that's the called, last melee fight. That's called content. <laughs> you know, this is also the first area that um, weather changes more frequently. Um, before, I think it's been every, like, three to between four and six or three and six minutes that the weather will change. Um, but in this area going on forward, it's like every two to four minutes that the weather will cycle. Now or we, something like that. Something now we see lines. Sneasler, um, which answers the question, what if uh, Sneasel was tall? <laughs> it just stretched Sneasel and MS Paint. Yeah. <laughs> She's like a few donations like for a bit? Absolutely. Okay, great. We're over $98,000. Come on, we can do it. Let's get up to that first 100K. Um, and then uh, we do have we do have $10 from Toph, who says, have we discussed the anime pronouncing Houndor as Houndour? Houndour. I stand by Houndour. Yeah, Houndour. I always said Houndour. I, I, I'm with that. Interesting. Interesting. We also have $100 from Sage, who says, um, it's pronounced Jod. Dethrone Jod. Oh, oh, that one hurt really bad. I know. Uh, Twenty-five dollars and seventy cents from um, Patsikin says my final donation of the marathon. Funny enough, it's during a Pokemon run in honor of the best Pokemon, number two fifty-seven, Flazikin. 
Every I, donation, we stray further and further from Jolly. I think okay. you'll find are the, it's. <laughs> are the donors I, actually like putting in like the pronunciation, oh and it's not just yes. kung fu, just like making it up on the spot? They're writing it down for me phonetically. It's so good. The donors it's so roll. good. God, Jai Chad. <laughs> also, like I believe five dollars from. Sorry, go ahead. Five dollars from Yo. Because you thought this was part of the oh, pronunciation no, train. Uh, that was calculated, actually. Never mind. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Not your <laughs> fault. Totally His fault. Fine. Keep going. <laughs> you thought this was part of the pronunciation train, but it was me. Dayo. Oh. Oh. Also, quick correction. It's actually the Pokemon before was Blase Ken. Moving on. <sighs> Listen, I didn't write the donation, okay? No, no I'm not correcting you. Okay. <laughs> Um, we have um, $10.08 from uh, Jose B, who says donation train, $10.08 for the no, total amount of behind. Pokemon. I got a satchel. Let's go. As well as the number of my favorite bike Pokemon. Wait, which one's 1008? Which one's 1007? Isn't Maridon uh, 1008? Maridon's 1008 and Caridon's yes. 1007. Boo! Yes. Caridon's better. <laughs> no, Tron bike. But, but funny lizard with la funny motorcycle with legs. I'm with you, Kung Fu, and I felt so betrayed that uh, Violet lags more for some reason. It's so funny. It's not yeah. optimal for a speed run. So I had to buy Definitely a Scarlet. Definitely a bummer. It. it just felt so weird being in that Flintstones car. Yeah, I do kind of call it a Flintstones <laughs> car as well, yes. I call I'm Flintstones like that, car and Tron I'm like, wow, that looks ridiculous. I'm not getting that. No, it's so funny. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> By the way, it is it is true, and at a future GDQ when we ultimately run Scarlet Violet, uh, Violet lags more than Scarlet right now, and that is why Scarlet is faster. It's like kind of significant. It's it's two minutes because what runners will do is they'll show their in-game time compared to their in or it compared to their real time attack, and for Scarlet it lags by ten minutes, and in Violet it lags by twelve Whoa. minutes. Yeah, already the, like. <laughs> Scarlet Violet lags 10 minutes. Uh, and that's just the comparison between the in-game time and real-time attack. But hopefully we get a performance update, which would be great. We are so, so close to that 100,000, that first 100,000 for attacking and dethroning the Pokemon God. And we're still at 64,000 for the glitch exhibition. We gotta meet those, those we, got, we gotta meet the incentives. We gotta do it, chat. You got like, let's, let's say we have like 20 minutes left. Sorry, we have to do it. We can Who? do this. Who has to do it again? I don't think they've met that. Oh, I'm sorry, Che. Yeah, You're right. I don't think che? they've met the incentive yet. I think they're still Che. It's definitely still Che. <laughs> uh, we have a little. We have some more time. <laughs> I got nobody. Oh sure, I'm down. I am always down to read donations brought to you by Che. Um, okay, so we have uh, <laughs> we have twenty five dollars from Anchors who says. It's okay, we've all been there. I used to pronounce Pikachu like Pikachu. Like like a chew. They say we've been there like they like like they recovered and they're sharing yeah. their success story. Yes. Exactly. You two can recover from bad pronunciation. I will never change. <laughs> Prove right, me wrong. $10. This is ten dollars from a nun I moose who says we will fight God and we will win. Did they did actually put the it? text in the donation for you to pronounce anonymous like that? Yes, they sure did. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being as accurate as I can, okay? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, $25 from Feeling Dreepy saying it's not pronounced Chatot or Chatot. It's pronounced Donate. True. I agree. I'm, I'm on board with that. All right, I'm going to quickly change my Twitter name to Corvum Che. <laughs> I thought I would live because because uh, it's raining, but I didn't. That's fine. I have another. You game also got oh, it's crit. That's why I died. Kinda, oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. I have a second I, game. Negative. But funny, funny story. Uh, Melly is three on oneing us. How is this fair? Who came up with the rules of well, Pokemon it's, back then? It's because like, we're in the past, so rules haven't been designed true. yet. So this is also extra messed up because of the way that the initiative system actually works in this game, which is not like. Essentially, the way it works is like whenever you use a move, it essentially puts you on like a cooldown. But then every time you get hit, it pushes the cooldown back. 
So if you're getting three on one, you just constantly get moved back in the cycle over and over and over and over again, which is why it can sometimes feel like you like they get like seven, nine attacks off before you get any. And it's because you just keep getting hit and knocked back in initiative. It's very strange. My record. Yeah, basically agile moves, they don't speed you up. They slow the opponent down. Mm -hmm. So whenever Pokemon in this fight or in this format, three on one, whatever, they use agile moves on you. They are slowing you down which affects how every other Pokemon in the battle interacts with you. It's ridiculous. That's why you're like, when is it my turn? It's never your turn. I'm so Turns sorry to interrupt. Illusion. Go for it. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we just got, we just got Game Sun Quick donating $100,000. <laughs> what? 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 $100,000. What? It says thanks I mean, that to certainly our helps our God donation. It's a yes. John. John. Thanks to our sponsors and a little bit from us as well. Now it's up to you, Twitch chat, and I say Twitch Che, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, we are over 200,000. So okay, close listen, to we an have apology. like. Oh, che, we're quiet. Right, all right, all right. Thanks, John. Oh my gosh. Push, push, push. Che, we need to do this. Holy moly. This has been a, honestly, this has been a wild ride from top. I thought this could be like a cool, chill, hanging out, watching, <laughs> playing some Pokemon with friends, and then. What part of any of this couch indicates chill? I, I. True. It's yeah. true. <laughs> That's kind of on me. Alex seems chill. All right, so this is the best Frenzied Lord fight in the game, in my opinion. Um, others might disagree. No, I think this is. Uh, this one's I'm really in quite fun. agreement with you in this one, May. Um. When everybody had faced this one like casually, they thought this was like really hard, especially with the um, with the I think it's Electro Ball is the attack. It like homes in on you. Yeah, we tank that and just dodge the Voltorbs while we just circle around Electrode. There are three um, different patterns of Voltorbs that it can drop. Um, so like you can, it, it seems random at first, but it's more predictable than you think it is. And then, uh, yeah, essentially we want to rotate around the Voltorb, so that way when it spins to face us, that gives us slightly more time to get more attacks in. Ideally, also, we get a hit off um, where uh, right before the, the Electro Ball hits us, because that because the stagger is actually, like, if you do it at the right time, if you hit it at the right time, mm -hmm. essentially, you don't lose your cycle of hitting. That green room moves slightly faster. Um, and I'm learning so much about this fight. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know. This fight, um, ideally the goal here is essentially get the kill before it does the big bounce in the air. Because if it does land on you, or uh, then you will, you'll get knocked back. And if that Where was really it? close, Where okay. We, 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 call that, uh, we call that the tactical nuke uh, yeah. in the community. If it the booms, it destruct. puts you at one, one health, right? And then if you get hit by the electro ball, then you lose. So essentially, you maybe get one hit off after that, maybe, if you get boomed. Um, this fight like actually feels kind of unfair when you're doing it casually, I think, but uh, the IL for it is extremely fun. I got really hooked on this for a while. Uh, I made a guide for it, and it's super out of date, so don't watch it. Yeah, I had a friend that, I mean, was, you, that was struggling with this. I didn't know there was any was... patterns to the Voltorbs. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend I, that was struggling with this, and I said, literally do the speedrunning strat. Just get in its face and throw your bombs, and don't worry about dodging the Electro Ball. Um, it, I, is, it is quite easy when you get the hang of it. This is like the one thing that this is, like, this is why I'm on the couch. It's to explain Electrode, and that's it. It's a massive buildup. I still don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm surprised you said Electrode correctly. What's wrong with Electrode? Electrode. I mean, I have more amazing Pokemon pronunciations. Hit us up. Whenever you please. Want. Please? Okay, great. I hear it, please. Emily Wren donates $25 and says, if it's dethroned Jod, is it actually GIF? Anywho, Umbrayan is best Pokemane. Can Kaiserone do the call? Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm out. Aaron of the Kai's. Can you? Can you Kai's? I don't know. I was hurt so much by the by the pronunciation. I need to hear the second half again. Can wait the um, Umbrian? Umbrian. What? I think it's I think it's just supposed to be Umbrian, Umbrian? maybe. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. What about um, what about Umbrian? Do the cry. I Is, I yeah. don't know. You could do what? whatever. Everything's completely on, off the rails uh, at this point. Uh, <laughs> Uh, 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 I tag T-Pad. It's his favorite. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, perfect. Like that. Yeah, that's that good. actually sounds right. That's because the Umbreon's my right. favorite Pokemon, so of course I, I go take Scry. all the credit. Go me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, great job, Keys. Clap. Thanks. And, okay, we have $50 from uh, Veniscas saying, personally, my favorite Pokemon is the one that is the embodiment of the notion that hard work will always pay off. Garayados. No, Eurostos. Huh? <laughs> I'd like oh. to point out that in Crystal, when you run into the red Gyarados, it says Gyasha. So it doesn't even know what its name is. I'm not convinced I speak the same language as all of you. I, I just, I, so I, we're getting to the point that I don't know what Pokemon you're trying to say. None of the Pokemon actually say their name in text form in this game, except for the Cricket Tune, which goes. -la 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 -la, whoop, whoop. Welcome to Amerika, Hulk. I love it here. <laughs> keep going, keep Freedom. going, keep going. Okay, $197 from Summers, who says, have to donate my daughter. Evie's favorite Pokemon, the shiny Umbreon. Yes. Thank you for giving her and her dad something fun to watch together. Oh, that one's just normal. Um, Five dollars from Game Boy Light saying, Hi, GDQ Light here. My boss will not stop calling Arcanine Arcanine and Lickitung Licking Tongue. Oh. Please help. I also, five five dollar dono train. We need to <laughs> we need to a uh, take and dethrone Jod. <laughs> Oh, it's getting worse. You didn't uh, think it could get worse, and it is. <laughs> Chat, we're so close. There, okay, so, Che, there's not that much time left, all right? We have one lord left of the five lords, but there's not that much that we do before we actually fight a Veilug. So what we need you to do is we need to get the... Good old you, you need to get uh, those donations in as soon as possible. We're so close. We could do it. And then I have to apologize for everything that I've done to all of your ears during this entire all run. Right. So I haven't mentioned this yet. I mentioned at the very beginning that uh, I routed out Gastrodon for this part. No! Uh, I'm going to unleash a very, very, very powerful pig. And uh, you'll have to wait and see until we get in there. Oh? It's, oh. it's the most savage beast that occurs in the entire Alabaster Icelands. I know the answer to your question from, from before we started the stream. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm not ready. Yes. I know what's going to happen now. The most now. fearsome like beast. Idea, yes. But I don't trust it. Do you say the most, sa the most savage pig? So mm -hmm. yes. So what's gonna no. happen here? No no no, is no, no, that no 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 no. I'm not I'm not gonna say what's gonna happen. Uh, I'll, I'm not gonna spoil it. But in any percent, like we have a very set team of like five Pokemon that we carry with us through the rest of the game, and it helps us with the late game fights and the lake trials and whatnot. Since we're not doing any percent, we're just doing all lords. We only have three fights in Icelands that we have to get through. And now I know what Hulk's gonna do because the party's gonna look very different, and I'm very excited now. Very, very, very different. I hope you guys enjoy. How close are we to the dethroning god? Because again, we only have like 10 minutes uh, um, left. Excuse We're you. getting there. Chat is counting down actively. They say 41. So it looks like we are. Oh, oh, 40. Oh, 40, 39. Oh, they're oh coming my gosh. In. Okay. 39,000 away. 39,000 away. We can so do this. How much time do we have left? 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Oh. Oh my goodness, you heard it here. Okay. It's getting a little spicy. Oh, I, I, saw it, I saw it happen during the Dark Slows run. Like, Chad true, was true. popping off. And I'm going to call him Chad, but you can call him Che. Che's doing a great job. Che right is now. doing a great job. I'm proud of all of you, but I'd like to be a little <laughs> more proud. So let's get those donations in. Absolutely. $47.10 from Anonymous, who says, I love all Evolutions, but my favorite is number 471. Glackion. Glackion. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Uh, it sounds, like a, it from... sounds like a mouth disease or something. Like, <laughs> like something right? that happens if you don't brush your teeth very often. Oh my gosh. Okay. $100 from some kind of who says, we need to get a donation train going for train obsessed Ingo. He's been separated from his brother and Arceus and Giratina are to blame. They must be punished. In honor of Ingo, can the couch and host give me their best all aboard? Yes. Couch? Yes. Go for all it. aboard! All aboard! All aboard! I love that. This is the Polar Express. 
<laughs> no, that, that, that's DLC. That's this extra. There's is a blue line oh. train Shh. to attack a dethroned god. <laughs> Stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs> oh my god, Che is so good. This train okay. making all stops to attack god. We have we have five dollars from uh, Argom who says donating to extend James Dunquick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James, my favorite. <laughs> Dear sweet James. You're only allowed to, uh, to submit a run if your name I, is James. I love James Dunn oh. Heesh. <laughs> oh. Well, oh my well, goodness. 30, oh, go ahead. 36,000 left. We can so do it. Oh, so this time around, so Hound only has one of the Sneasels in his party. Usually we would have two Sneasels, a Haunter, a Skuntank, and the Gastrodon, and I see... Those kind of look like pigs, but I, uh, we I need assume Glalie. you're going to go okay. for a better one. You, you got to get Glalie. Glalie yeah. uh, is important. You know, I like Snow Run because Snow Run looks like how I feel right now because it's cold. I just want to say that uh, Galalia is the reason there, there I won is. the inaugural. Dar she blows. Yes. Yes. There, this is, in fact, a static alpha encounter. It is a level 62 swine up. Swinib! No. Not, not swine up. Don't do it with the swine up. Fine. Swine, swine up. I yeah. appreciate swine up is above all of this. That is true. I appreciate you. Thank you. You don't even have to evolve it? Nope. Oh, that's so amazing. I love this so much. I wasn't sure if you were just going to catch a pile of swine, uh, and I knew you weren't going to catch the That's alpha. That's boring. Yeah, I knew you weren't going to catch the alpha mammoth swine because it's supposed to spawn literally right where we're standing, and it is currently uh, not spawned because of this cutscene. How is he not cold? I don't. Because he works. Yeah, out. Arita. Arita complained about the volcano so much, but then she comes here and she's like, "I'm sweating over here. It's too warm." Like they're like uh, what did Corv may say in the hot fix? They're Midwestern energy for Midwestern sure. Midwestern energy. But I'm here being like yeah. I'm very cold all the time. And <laughs> um, yeah, Midwesterners love bragging about how they can hang in the cold. Meanwhile, we've heard a Midwesterner complain about how they cannot hang in the cold. I just like to, <laughs> I just this, like uh, I just like to complain. I'm right there with you, actually. To be honest, what happened was I lived in California for two years, and I like I've never been the same in terms of cold tolerance. I lost my Sorry, edge. Irida. I know, I understand that it is objectively Irida, like iridescence, but I've always said Irida. I've always said that we should oh. win a few donations. Oh, that okay. Too. Hey, that's the thing I can do. Um, <laughs> so we have $30.30 from Kai. He says, a Pokedex donation for my favorite Pokemon, number 303, Maui Lay. Continue. <laughs> Seven dollars. <laughs> Seven dollars from Turtleneck he says, "Call me simple, but there will always be a soft spot in my heart for number seven, Squire Tolay, Squire Tolay Squad for life." Unless Where's the why? He throw Jod. They're making stuff up. <laughs> you can just add letters. <laughs> che, you can do whatever you want if you're going to donate for it. <laughs> now listen here, Che. <laughs> you can't just <laughs> come on, Jay. Jay, letters. we got thirty thousand left. Let's go. Okay, we've also got to twenty dollars from Midnight Parade. Who says, "Look out! A wild radai cutie has appeared." Right, radai cut. What? Radicate. There's a dead no, no. I that's I lost a the plot. <laughs> I've lost the plot. <laughs> you even threw off May. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay's so good. Okay, so real quick for in gameplay news, uh, we're supposed to work back to camp and climb a cliff and talk to Sabby over there. Um, but instead, first, we're going to tag the Pearl Settlement because our next objective after that cliff is over here. So we might as well grab this warp point while we're literally already over here and then go uh, complete our objective. Fun fact, you lost the first ever sub four any percent to not fully getting this warp point because it's yep. not its not like the pixel that it appears on the screen. That Pearl Settlement uh, locator needs to be fully on the screen. Yep. Oh, wait, I just forked to the Pearl Settlement. Um, I, I lost a minute and a half to that. 
And I got a 40022, so I absolutely certainly lost uh, the first sub four to that. But, but it's okay. okay. You have a 339 now, which is yeah, insane. Yeah, the trend with this game, the, the trend with this game, which is interesting, is I'm not allowed to hit barriers unless they're hit by other people first. And therefore, I'm very grateful to Shady for hit, getting a 339 in Japanese, which allowed me to get my 339 in English. <laughs> That's called teamwork. Very, you very cool. Yeah. It was actually really incredible to see you and Shady kind of have like this like this world record grind competition and you both were pushing the game to these these boundaries and limits that no one thought was possible in the community uh, and i believe the story goes at one point the world record traded hands four times in a 26 hour span between exactly you and shady right. mm -hmm. like, yeah shady uh, actually uh, mean... came from pmd just like me so we were already competing back then fun fact go look at the pokemon super mystery dungeon leaderboard I am one second behind in a five and a half hour run. Um, so we came into RSCS and we just kind of hit the ground running and we're both very competitive. So we drove the time down very, very ridiculously far. And it's been fun, for sure. Can we get a couple more donations while we're on our way to Absolutely. the temple? Yes, these are so, I'm having so much fun reading these. Oh my goodness. All right, $89 from Moon E, who says, $89 for my favorite Pokemon, Grameer, and its evolution, Mook. <laughs> I can't, it's, this is so fun. Um, $25 from Slowpoke. Slowpoke says, hey everyone, I'm so excited for AGDQ. Can't wait to see the Splatoon 3 run. <laughs> I love that, it's so cute. Maybe they're just, um, maybe just, they're just gonna go on the, on the YouTube channel and watch the VOD, you don't know. <laughs> $250 from Nick who says, what do you have to do to evolve an Eevee into a Kizion? Hmm. Oh, hmm. I've never thought about that one before. What What <laughs> evolution stone evolves you? Uh, money. Yeah, donate and let us know. Mm -hmm. Donate and let us yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me know. Twenty six thousand left. We're so close. Oh my goodness. Ten dollars from Volo did nothing wrong. Who says? Shout out to my dad who has pronounced Pikachu as. Pinkachu for 20 years now. <laughs> I, I like Let's that. Go, Pinkachu. Wow. That's fun. That's cute. Yeah. Hey, you, <laughs> Pinkachu. Okay, help so me right with this now, one. Uh, in lore, oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, in lore news, uh, right now we're supposed to be looking at these statues in this area. Um, they represent rock, steel, and ice, and we're supposed to like look at them, like I think, backwards from the door. And like whatever order they're in, we're supposed to like recite it to the door. Um, but it never changes. So once you know it, you can just kind of do it. Yeah, we I, came up with some uh, very clever, um, just like patterns. Uh, the first one is, um, what is it? What, it's what happens when you run this game a lot? You get RSI. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. This door True. is, um, if you live in Rhode Island, you have to pay the IRS of Rhode Island. And this last one mm -hmm. is just Sir Icer. Sir Icer. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Etiquette for those. Uh, of course it was etiquette. I, oh yeah, a thousand percent. You know, he helped me learn these because I for like up until I did commentary on that run he did. Um he did it run for uh PSR. I, I need to focus, I'm just doing it wrong. Uh but yeah, ever <laughs> since that I have not forgotten them. I'm not forgetting, I'm misinputting. It's okay, you're stalling so we can hit that God incentive. I get oh, it. Oh yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Totally. We are coming very <laughs> close to time, by the way. So, Che, time okay, runs there's short. There's a, there's an Alpha Gallade here. I'm gonna try to pass it with just my Stealth Spray. Try to catch That's it. That's what I do. I catch it, y'all yeah, throw one ball at it and see if it gets in. Oh, it saw me. Wait, what type? What? Yeah, it had it. What type of ball? Okay. Uh, lead, I can't catch it now. It's it's angry. <laughs> Let's go throw a leading ball, which probably had zero chance. Yeah. Sorry, a leaden ball. Thank you. I'll catch that one just in case. I don't know. In case somebody likes Curlia. There you go. Did you know that Curlia has worse stats than Unknown? That makes me sad. That's rough. It's well, really it's sad. Rough. It's rough out there. 24,000 chat, come on! Shay, we're so close. Shay, we're so close. We're so close. Oh my and goodness. And also, if like... We haven't really been hyped, like been talking about it that much, but that fight is like hard. So you want to see that? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone complains about the Volo fight, 
you know, everybody I've ever talked to. So it's definitely a treat to see it go fast. The music? Oh, the music goes so hard. Oh, the music's so good. The so much better. Yeah, here's another one of those three-on-one battles, but this one goes Cheater a lot. Cheater fight. Yeah, this one goes better than Melly. This one was so hard for me casually because of my team of all birds. <laughs> <laughs> I got bodied. Can you explain uh, all the birds that were on your team? Okay, so I had Mantine, which is a bird. Which is a bird. I had Driftblim, which is a bird. I had Chaytop, which is a bird. I had uh, Magnazone, which is a bird. I had... What else did I have? I missed Blizzard! Oh, no, don't kill me. It has strong style, too. It was like 90% accurate. I did, did you say Magnazone? Luckily... Okay. I said Magnazone. Uh, yeah, the Magnazone Electivire actually has a fully electric moveset, and it's so unfortunate. Because <laughs> it cannot no, it hit sucks for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had um, Crobat, which is a bird. And... Uh, yeah, that, that swine up is massive. It's so big. <laughs> Good boy. Big pig. Big pig. Good boy, swine up. Good boy. Pet the swine up. Wait, can we, can we just hang out with, with swine up for a little bit? Just no see problem. our just see our beautiful boy. You can put the you can put the Pokemon in the overworld. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm more upset that May said that Magnazone is a bird or if this person in chat called Magnazone a dog. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those Sorry, are they called what? Chat, chat, we are well, getting close. We have one battle and one noble fight remaining. Oh my we gosh. We can do it. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. I mean, I mean, I don't have to apologize if you don't do it. So like that's kind of cool. But um I would rather charity get money, so I agree. I know I'd have a whole okay rap to do. We have a lot of stuff to do if we get right. if we hit that. So I have the lyrics pulled up. Don't you worry about that. I've not even prepared my apology yet. I have not thought of this at all. Um. Yeah, I I I haven't I haven't, I don't think ahead. I think that's pretty clear. This if you've been watching this I mean, whole time. I mean, Shen got a whole day to write his. You're you're fine. That's true. That's true. We even have a $250 that came in from our very own Eternal Enigma. He says, dethrone dog. <laughs> leave, leave, leave dog out of this. <laughs> yeah, as this run is ending, uh, getting wrapped Excuse up, me. Um, I do want to real quick give some shout outs huh? to the people that have made this route possible. Um, early on, a lot of the routing was done by Osnap and Saiyan Sync. Uh, you know, Saiyan Sync is a known Pokemon runner, um, but I think Osnap actually came from the Kingdom Hearts community or Kingdom Hearts adjacent community. Um, but recently, it's mostly just been me and Shady uh, just kind of hammering this game out and just figuring out what works and what doesn't. Shady is absolutely the reason this game is as fast as it is. There's a lot of updates I would have never thought of. I think we were still using Pokeballs for everything before Shady started. And he's just been a tremendous help with making this game as fast as it is. Hey, Chad, if we hit the incentive, I'll learn this game. Oh, actually, no, so, actually. Sounds like I got actually. another Kochi to point appointments. Stall, 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 stall. I'll do it. And, All right, and, so and I do want to give a warning for anybody that is afraid of heights really quickly. <laughs> Uh, and I'll say this about Halk, because um, I'd mentioned this in the donation that like you actually did like sit down and, and coach me individually. Um, but you also have a series of YouTube VODs that um, that are just tutorials for anybody that does want to get into this game. I mentioned it might not be your first Pokemon game to try out, uh, but anybody that does really, really love this game, it can be so rewarding to play this fast and 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 be as skillful or even a fraction as skillful as as Halk is here. Um, so yeah, so thank you for like really doing that for our community because it was really incredible to know that like you're not hogging the strats for yourselves. You are really trying to help us all get better at this game and it is really cool to see uh, everybody improve. And yeah, like I said with Shady, like, you know, uh, um, you know, when people, when more people run the game, the game gets better. Because, like, if it was only me running the game, this game might have stopped at, like, 250-something. Like, because, you know, I wasn't one to, like, you know, hardcore innovate that much. Uh, and if, if you're interested in running this game yourself, you are, feel free to reach out to any of us. And we can direct you towards the right places for that. 
Yeah, so um, I would recommend just following and watching me and Shady Gamer X on Twitch. Uh, also, I just uploaded a um, All Lords tutorial series in full, all six parts for all six of the main segments of the run. Um, it's on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Um But yeah, just generally ask me on any platform, Discord, Twitter, Twitch, any, any questions you have, I'd be happy to answer. I want to see more people get into this game. And we are getting into the final fight of this game, which is the Avo, uh, sorry, Avalug <laughs> fight. So, Che, this is your last chance to get those donations into me. incentive. We are so close. So close. We only have 17,000 left. Let's go. We have go. time for one donation. Donation? We have time for one donation. donation. Okay, great. Then let's do, uh, then let's do $5 from Pokemon. God, he says, hey, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just talking about you. Yeah. So oh, the, talking about you. So oh boy, I sure hope is, no one's on their way to come and attack and dethrone me. <laughs> the Avalog fight is so interesting to do really fast because up to this point, um, we had kind of mentioned that at around the halfway point, um, the Pokemon, the Lord does like this like frenzy rage and they're invincible for a little bit and then their attack pattern gets a little bit faster. For Avalog, if we are really good, we can skip the rage animation. Um, it requires a lot of precision uh, and also a little bit of manipulation. Uh, Avalog is a really big target. Uh, his cycle is also very slow, and that's going to help us out. Uh, he starts with the bubble beam attack here, uh, and then he'll do some like icicle crashes. And the most important part is he does the uh, the missiles. We do not want to hit Avalog below half health before he starts his missiles. Otherwise, we will get the faster pattern on the missiles, which will make it more difficult for us to defeat him. You are doing insane right now. So you're going to see it Hulk was. wait. And b basically between each of these missiles, we're going to get one of the bombs off. That was literally perfect. In what uh, universe is it Bubble Bee? I was going to say, I didn't want to... I didn't want to call that out. <laughs> I did. Hard In what and, universe you know, is it Chaiton? Well, we'll see how long it remains. Less than 3,000. That's what I'm saying. Time's going to be on the black frame here. Oh my gosh. Got it. Got it, yes. And that is time. <laughs> Woo! That poor ah! dog. He I mean, never got to scream. Do we still have time for this? Because we are less than 2,000 away. I mean, There's we no, gotta watch this cutscene okay. before we cut even be able to get yeah. into the... We have a cutscene. It's Pokemon. Also, we got another $10,000 from the Yeti. Woo! This is amazing. Yeti coming in saying, hey all, Yeti here. All I have to say is, dethrone God! Dethrone God! <laughs> dethrone Jod! <laughs> dethrone Jod! All right, so oh my gosh, we're like two hundred away. Is is it going to happen before we regain input? That's the question. Yeah, we have a cutscene <laughs> to watch here, so we're we're. we're all, it's Pokemon. There's always a cutscene to watch. So true. <laughs> always be mashing. That's the Pokemon mantra, honestly. Hold. So we got some more donations. Well, it's a, we completed our challenge. Woo! That's what I'd rather Woo! talk about. <laughs> Woo! Good job, Let's chat. Let's dethrone John. All right. So should we get oh, to crap. that? Oh, crap. I have to learn this now. Yeah, you Keep really mind, do. We still have a glitch exhibition, right? I don't know if that's still open or not. Yeah, I was, you know, it's funny because I was actually going to do the glitch exhibition after this anyway. The glitch exhibition would be after. We have one more goal if we want to hit that. But first we get to see the takedown. Attack and dethrone of Jod. Good job, Che. All right. You all are incredible. So, um, incredible. Some important speed tech I learned recently is, uh, you know, I had my game crash very recently, right before my catch mole world record attempt. Um, I've learned to actually separate Scarlet and Violet and Legends Arceus on my home screen as far away as they can be, because uh, I do believe them being next to each other is what caused that crash, because it, it bleeds into it. Um, but anyways... I'm serious. It, after I after I changed that, I no longer had any game crashes. It's insane. How long do I have to write an apology? Oh man, we didn't determine how many pages. I'm traveling tomorrow. Was it for both? 
Was this you, well, for both see, you're incentives? Gonna, you're going to be on a plane, so you have enough time to write something down. <laughs> that is true. Uh, if you guys want to run a separate timer for this, we can do that. Uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't take any more than like 15 minutes. Please make the category attack and dethrone Pokemon God, though. That's very important. Okay. I have everything I need. Cool. All right, let's go. I love this fight. I this love fight's this. so, so the, good. I'm so glad we hit this. Like, not, not even just because of the charity aspect, but like, this is such a fantastic part of the game. And what's really fascinating about this fight is that just previously, we kind of had mentioned that when trainers start getting more and more Pokemon, we typically like trade KOs. Like, I KO your Pokemon, you KO mine, I KO yours. This fight, we can sweep. And it is really fascinating. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. I, w I, w I want Hal to have the spotlight here. Yeah, so um, you may have noticed that my party only consists of a Gallade and a Gliscor. You may be wondering, that's not enough Pokemon to beat this. No, 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 no. Yes, it is. Watch. And, th and this Watch ain't- Watch and learn. This ain't no six on two. This is an eight on two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, Volo has a full party, and I have uh, my two good boys. All right, so we're gonna start off the fight with an Ox Power Guard. Ox Power Guard is an item in this game that um, increases both your attack and defense in one turn. What a this game doesn't man. really work in stat stages that much. Um, it's more like your attack is up or your defense is up for both stats, attack and defense. But it doesn't go any higher than that. I good. I did not. <laughs> okay. Thank God I did not get defense drop. That would have been really bad. And then twice by Radish, which gives me an, another attack boost, and they do stack. It's actually Hisuian Lilligan's like big thing. It has like I think it's Hero Stance, where it ups uh, its victory attack. Dance. Yeah, Victory Dance, where it ups its attack and gives you the hard hitting stance to get the uh, to get the stacked boost. Yeah, it's also what double hit does in this game, if you have any Pokemon with double hit. For some reason, they change it to a status move. <laughs> a lot of the changes to moves don't really make that They're, much sense. But. Yeah, it, they... Mm. That's, that's an apt comment. Some of them are just like, huh, okay, I, I guess? Sure, Water Pulse could not miss, that's cool. I, I hear like the collective this. cries of 60,000 people that just feel like they did this the wrong way. Because, <laughs> like, you know, each of these Pokemon normally takes, like, so long. Like, it's normally maybe, like, a trial and error kind of thing, but not with this Glade. It kind of kind of owns, actually. Well, it's because you're using items, like some sort of speed runner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> clearly. But, in fact, we used to do this without those items. Uh, the strat was to use Cresselia's Lunar Blessing to make sure we never died. And it just took so much longer. I actually didn't think that this would save time. I, Shady Gamer X came up with this strategy. And um, I was like, it's not going to save any time. He literally cut the fight time in half. It used to take 10 minutes. Now this fight only takes five minutes. Which does mean you it's have less ridiculous. time to get donations in for that glitch instead of. So oh, yeah. you have a little stress. bit of time for donations. That's true. OK, OK, all right. Um, plus, I need to find some time. I'll probably do it after you're done to do the whole Poké Rap now, apparently. Um, <laughs> so we do have, uh, we do have $250 from, um, Manny, who says here is $250 for Hoo-Oo. Don't worry, we're not done with the pronunciation. I think yet. it's Hoot Hoot, and that's the end of Volo's team. Wow. That was really <laughs> nice. fast. That Volo was really just quick. swept. And of course we get well, this not, part. That's not the end. It is not over yet. Elk, I love cutscenes. Uh, we'll, we'll let it ride out. I, I just want to let you know I love cutscenes. Me too. Especially the ones you don't have to mash through. Bashan. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Bashan. Shout out to Bashan. He's coming. The guitar. In, I'm so upset that I don't get to hear this, I'll be honest. Oh, well, the music goes so hard. It's so good. It's excellent. Um, so this is not, this is not God. 
Bowl's no, dressed like Arceus. Bowl's God. dressed like Arceus. <laughs> but instead, he's controlling Giratina. Yeah. Uh, so the Giratina phase is very interesting, and anyone who has ever played this game casually knows that Giratina's signature move, uh, Shadow Force, I believe. All right, so we're going to use Gallade. Um, oh. There you go, Shadow Force. Oh. Mm. The kill? Wow. I mean, it was super okay, effective. Uh, yeah, I only bought and the Gliscor's backup. And now he's obscured. Remember that? The That's, obscuration? Yeah. Okay, well, let's try this. You just give me that was on purpose. Yeah, this was only supposed to be a backup, so I hopefully this works. He will be okay. harder to hit now. Yeah, you did you did increase your defense. This was just to give chap more time to hit the incentive. Yeah. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm praying for you, Hulk, because got it gotta hit through obscurion. Alright, I have dark right. pulse and it hits through it never misses. There you even go. Even through the obscurity. There you go. And we had mentioned it in the run that all pulse moves never miss. So That was calculated. Oh yeah, and even though we're in the second phase of Giratina right now, it keeps the boost. Or it keeps the boosts that I have. But it didn't the battle didn't actually like end or anything. It really was the Wild West back then. Where where's the where's the honor? Where are the rules? Did you see, did you see how many Pokemon <laughs> like fight you at once? There was no rules. Yeah, nobody else is following any rules. Why do we? This is, this is how things have developed since we've been here for the last three hours. We've learned the culture of Hisui. We don't follow rules. And that's it. That's it for that's Volo it. and Giratina. Well done. Yeah, that is a, that is such a really cool like end game fight. Like what is considered to be one of the most challenging fights in all of Pokemon, including the Cynthia battles. Of course, it is Volo. But like to beat that with just two Pokemon and a very simple strat is really, really cool. Um, I think you said that Shady also came up with the Gliscor uh, strategy. There Anything a, involving the Gallade yeah. was Shady. For yeah, sure. and and the Gliscor, uh, the Alpha Gliscor that you can catch here, the Giratina does not have any super effective moves for it, uh, and it comes. Or do you have to teach Dark Pulse? Uh, you have to. to well, actually, because it's an Alpha. Um, it does have one random tutor move as its first move by default, so it can be Dark Pulse, and it'll be mastered as well. Um, but otherwise, yes, you have to buy it from Zisu and uh, master it with the Seed of Mastery. But it is but, still great uh, to have that uh, that option to, to look, cut through the accuracy. Curtain. Yeah, this is the Azure Flute, the thing that was never released in Pokemon Platinum Diamond. It's the Pokemon. Ocarina. It is the <laughs> Ocarina. <laughs> or it's the Magic Conch. Take your pick. All hail the magic conch. All right, so uh, we have one challenge ahead of us. We have to seek out all the Pokemon. But to save you guys time, I've already done that. Okay, good, because that's that's a long run. We'd be I think here it just for started fogging. This is a very long run. We'd be here for like another eight hours if that happened, and I don't think mm -hmm. I don't think uh, they they would be happy with us if we. Have did you that, ever gotten so. fog in the Volo fight? I don't think you can actually up here. Doesn't matter. You have Dark Pulse. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for but the for half. the first part. <laughs> yeah. The other six moves we have to click. Um, we got some cutscenes here, I think. Mm hmm. The definitely time for some donations. Okay, I'm trying to figure out when to fit in this Poke Wrap. I could do that now, but I wouldn't want to like have to cut it. We have like a minute uh, until I have to start fighting. Speed Wrap. Uh, uh, can I do that in time? I think 150 will take more than 60 seconds. Well, not if you stall. <laughs> we can do it right after. We'll do it right after. Okay. Um, right now we are looking at uh almost 70,000 out of that 100 and 100,000 we need for the glitch exhibition. So let's get that in as well. Jay, Twitch Jay, five dollars from Heckhound that says, "Did you know?" Econ's name's backward is Snacky. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were we started over this. this. <laughs> Econ. One more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fifty dollars from Sunkeeper, who says my favorite Pokemon is number three hundred seventy-six. 
Mita Gross. Thanks, thanks everyone here for an awesome ATDQ this year. Thanks to my partner for listening to my week-long rambling about speedrunning. Thanks to my dad for funding his this donation for my birthday next week. And we can hit those Pokemon Legend Arceus incentives. Che, let's do it. That's right, so, we got uh, one more We to never go. mentioned that Arceus vandalized our phone when we arrived in this place. And now he's just, you don't get a phone anymore at all. You have That's a great. glowing sphere. That's all you get. No mention of reimbursement of, you know, any these kind new, of way to, you know, repair the situation. Just these new models, models just keep fun. getting rid of stuff. I'm not here for it. I love that Arceus plucks us to save the world, and then he tries to destroy us at the same time. It's to test our strength. All right, so I don't actually know anything about this fight. This is the only IL I didn't learn. This, I this one's extremely hard. So this fir the first phase has two different uh, types of attacks. This like wave, the uh, the shockwave and a meteor, uh, and then he can do judgment lasers as kind of like the main two attacks. But there are also like three or four more attacks that are possible. Here comes the judgment lasers. It's faster to actually take the judgments and do it because you know right now I'm doing nothing to him. But if you, if you get hit, I say that just cool. as a uh, just as a way to cover myself for getting hit that first time. So this one is uh, don't be uh, on the outside of the circle. So you need to be close in. Cool. Uh, we like that pattern. Uh, this one has the vanishing act, uh, where he's just going to cut through space and time and charge at us. Uh, we can hit him when he's doing that. Here comes the judgment lasers again. Uh, there is, there's not really time in between the lasers to do any attacks, unfortunately. What was that? That, was really that one silly. hit. That's messed up. Can't believe God's cheating. Uh, but I know, first, right? Those first two attacks are definitely like the worst ones you want to see in here. That's uh, the vulnerability yep. right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really clear when that happens with Arceus. He's like glowing. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like it's just like a stance change. Is Arceus a horse? Arceus yes. is a dog. I don't, all I know oh, is that he's stuck in. It's a dog. All I know is that he's. All I know about Arceus is that he's stuck in a fence. And it's really unfortunate rough out there sometimes. He's gotten wedged in that little fence. <laughs> Here's a dog that went through the fence. Oh, come on, Arceus. Give us a good pattern. This is I fun. don't mind this. I like, this is, I like this is this fine. You can fun. at least attack like in between the dodges. Also, Arceus apparently just doesn't have like an actual hitbox. He just walked through him and underneath him. I mean, to be fair, uh, and that is time. Well done. Now. You have defeated God. We and have then go dethroned good. And then God just goes like, that was pretty neat. Sorry, I should have taken a little bit longer. So we could have uh, <laughs> got the other incentive done. That's okay. I at least want to show off this because this, uh, I think this whole segment of Volo Giratina plus Arceus is just a perfect encapsulation of what we've done as a speedrunning community for, you know, figuring out this game. Because you should not be able to do Volo that way, but we've taken advantage of the items that the game has given us to be able to do that. And I've heard horror stories about how many times people died on like their first try fighting Arceus. But, you know, with the right strategy and enough practice, you can do it pretty solidly. You can do it better than that even. That was pretty sloppy. I used <laughs> but, you know. a lot of max revives and I did it, is all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Well, well done, Halk. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely, uh, you know, check out the leaderboards. There's some documentation and uh, some videos that I've done as well, like I said. Um, but yeah, follow me on Twitch if you want to see more game gameplay of this game and you want to learn more, just reach out to me on any platform and I'll, I'll get you set up. I'm excited I for thank the apology level. <laughs> I want to thank GDQ for the opportunity. I got started with speedrunning 10 years ago watching SGDQ 2013 VODs. And I said someday, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna apply and I'm going to get on the one of the main marathons. So I'm glad I've finally had the chance. So thank you guys.
Oh, that was so good. Can All right, chat, it is time. It is time. Congratulations again to Halkery. That was amazing. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm here. I'm doing it. We're doing this poke wrap. It's going to take like a couple minutes, but I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't worry. I was just waiting to make sure I had some time. Okay. <clears throat> Please excuse. Please excuse in advance. Just, just, okay. Here we go. I want to be the best there ever was to beat all the rest. Yeah, that's my cause. Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venice, Rattata, Firo, Pidgey, Sea King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly, Ponitive, Aporion, Poliwrath, Butterfree. Catch them, catch them, gotta catch them all. Pokemon, I'll search across the land. Look far and wide. Release from my hand the power that's inside. Venomoth, Poliwag, Nidorino, Golduck, Ivysaur, Grimer, Victory, Victory Bell, Moltres, Nido King, Farfetch'd, Abra, Jigglypuff, Kingler, Rhyhorn, Clefable, Wigglytuff. Catch em, catch em, gotta catch em all. Gotta catch em all. Pokemon. Zubat, Primate, Meowth, Onyx, Geodude, Rapidash, Magneton, Snorlax, Gengar, Tangela, Golden, Spearow, Weezing, Seal, Gyarados, Slow, Bro. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Kabuto, Persian, Paris, Horsey, Raticate, Magnemite, Kadabra, Weepin' Belk, Ditto, Cloyster, Caterpie, Sandshrew, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Golem, Pikachu. At least a hundred or fifty or more to see. To be a Pokemon master is my destiny. Alakazam, Doduo, Venonat, Machoke, Kangaskhan, Hypno, Electabuzz, Flareon, Blastoise, Poliwhirl, Oddish, Drowsy, Raichu, Nidoqueen, Bellsprout, Starmie. Okay, we're at the halfway point. Here we go. Metapod, Marowak, Kakuna, Clefairy, Dodrio, Seedra, Vileplume, Krabby, Lickitung, Tauros, Weedle, Nidoran, Machop, Shelter, Porygon, Hypmochan. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, yeah. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, yeah. Articuno, Jinx, Nidorina, Beedrill, Hunter, Squirtle, Chansey, Pokemon, Parasect, Execute, Muck, Dugong, Pidgeotto, Lapras, oh, Lapras, Vulpix, Rhydon. At least a hundred or fifty or more to see. To be a Pokemon master is my destiny. Charizard, Machamp, Pinsir, Coughing, Dugtrio, Golbat, Star, Star You, Magikarp, Ninetales, Ekans, Oma, Star, Scyther, Tentacool, Dragonair, Magmar. Just 24 more to go. Here we go. Sandslash, Hitmonlee, Psyduck, Arcanine, Eevee, Executor, Kabutop, Zapdos, Dratini, Growlithe, Mr. Mime, Cubone, Graveler, Voltorb, Gloom. We're almost home. Charmeleon, Wartortle, Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Oma, Knight, Slow poke, Pidgeot, Arbok, that's all, folks! <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> okay, I can breathe. Okay. Good job. Good job, Che. Good job. We are almost at, oh my gosh, we are over $2.5 million, and I am lightheaded. Give me a moment to breathe. Oh my goodness, you all. <laughs> Oh, if only I knew the rest of them. No, you know what? That's not a good idea. If you're already lightheaded. Oh my gosh, Humble Bundle! Humble Bundle just came in with $62,000. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Humble Bundle, for pushing us over that $2.5 million mark. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Everybody hydrate, please. All right. Oh, what an incredible donation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you all, Che. Thank you all. <laughs> we have so much love coming in from this Pokemon run. It was so good. And don't worry, there is another game left on the marathon. All right. Uh, also, you know, with that big donation coming in, you know what that means? Do you all do you, do you all want some more Pokemon? Because I would like some more Pokemon. 
I think that would be amazing. So it is not over. Don't worry. It's not over. We're still going. Not only do we have the recap, the Mario Bros. 3 run, that is an any percent warpless, which with Mitch Flower Power, the one and only. But then we also have the finale. But before that, we can get some more Pokemon. Let's make it happen. Or it's going to happen. It's happening. It's happening. I've, I'm so in the mode of like, let's get these things going. Oh, my goodness. I'm still trying to catch my breath. Still trying to catch my breath. But I'm so excited for this glitch exhibition. That is one of my favorite things to see in speedrunning. Oh, my goodness. All right. In the meantime, we're going to get in a few more donations while we are setting up. A uh, $100 from Darth Thomas, the tank engine, saying, let's go, Twitch chat. I don't know if the claps came across, but I hope so. Um, And then we have... And then we have a $50 donation. This is from definitely shenanigans underscore. <laughs> who says, regardless of how you pronounce it, Bulbasaur is the best Pokemon. Oh. Also, for those who are asking in chat, I practiced not at all. Literally not at all. I pulled up the lyrics and we went for it. $50 from B Sneeze, who says, exhibit some, <laughs> wait, exhibit some glitches. Perfect. <laughs> $61.10 from May Rails saying, figured I'd make my donation total an even 200. Oh, that gets you in for the uh, grand prize. Did you know that? So I guess this donation is for Fracture. Sure, that's fine. Let's see those glitches. And we have a $15 donation. This is from Ness, who says, Uyama! Less than three. Oh my gosh, more love from Mike Uyama in the chat, please. That would be so amazing. Oh my goodness. $10 from Gamma Ray saying, final push for the Glitch Showcase. We can do this. Well, we sure did. So excited. So excited for this. Reverend Gumby brings in $50 and saying, shout out to the Pokeball with the screaming incentive inside. <laughs> And we are ready to get into this glitch exhibition. Oh my gosh, you all are just the best. Love and chat for Mike, love and chat for Che, and love and chat for the runner, Halkery, and the couch. It's been so much fun. Let's see this glitch exhibition. All right. Um, so I guess ready on time. Three, two, one, go. All right. So uh, we're back. Um, <laughs> I just I want to start this glitch exhibition, glitch exhibition with a story. Because you may have noticed there wasn't really any glitches that we did in our run. You may be wondering, I guess Legends Arceus has no glitches. That's not true. Legends Arceus has glitches, and so many of them are so close to being helpful. So we just need, you know, if one more thing was different about it, it would help us. But that's not the case here. Uh, you know, everything that I'm about to show you, or two of the things I'm about to show you, would help us tremendously if they were at least in a different spot, or if they were easier to set up, or if they had different outcomes. Um, and also, I wanted to show this cutscene cut I didn't get to during the run because this is the beginning of the game. <laughs> this is the cutscene you made me show at Hotfix. Yes. What Shout if you out took to a Hot selfie Fix. with? What if you took a selfie with Pokemon God? I don't have an Ar Oh, I have an Arceus little figurine here. Also, we just dethroned God, so take a picture with Che. Pokemon Legends Arceus. What a fun experience. I just You're really that. selling it. <laughs> <laughs> so our first glitch actually starts right here on the beach. Um, you know, I didn't show this part, but there's basically this whole tutorial I have to go through uh, where you catch each one of these Pokemon, Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott. And uh, you are required to, you know, walk up to the professor and initiate this. However, there is a way to bypass the loading zone for this uh, tutorial beginning. And uh, hopefully I get it within a few tries. It's very difficult. I was practicing it <laughs> uh, for a while right before uh, we went live just to make sure I was, you know, fresh on what to do with it. So hopefully this goes well. I guess while, I'm, you know, while, we're, while we're getting there, you can read a couple more donations. Hey, sure. I think I finally caught my breath. After the Poké Wrap, oh my goodness. Okay, 
$25 from Umrog T. Byrne, who says, after showing Jod, who is boss, we have to defeat our next enemy, Galiches. You know the name thing is still... Gotta be back. This is still <laughs> um, Why would it stop? <laughs> There's no escape. This is a prison of There's our own no creation. Escape. <laughs> and we have $5 from Ethan H., who says, Glitch Expo all the way! And $50 yeah. from AC3, who says, let's get those glitches. So yeah. Some setting stuff that I didn't show uh, during the run. Okay, I'm going to do these couple crouch chances, and then we'll get to it. I'm excited. Little, time for one more donation. Uh, yeah. One more? Yeah, one more. Okay, okay. We have $25 from Alex, who says, would... Cheese Iran be a food crime or a pronunciation crime? Yeah. Both. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So you're supposed to yes. run you're supposed to run this way to talk to the professor. He's over there. But mm -hmm. if you go over here on this rock, you run at a precise angle. Ah, almost had it. I'm trying to land on that ledge over there. It's kind of difficult. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's kind of difficult to do something that's not intended. You know, you, you don't, you don't understand. I gotta catch my breath a little bit. I'm just trying to land on like one pixel there. Or not one pixel, but like one little polygon. I'm sure you can see it actually. Uh, we have time for one more donation while I'm trying to get this set up. Sure thing. Okay, we got $25 from Penguin Army. He says, I thought I was done donating, but I have to call out my favorite, Evolution. The only one who's shiny is the trans flag colors. Vion. I think I'm trying that's, to... That's how, I, that's how I remember it. <laughs> you asked for it. Oh my god, I was like literally about to start walking and then it slowed me down. The slope detection is interesting in this game. Basically, you see that I'm like slowly getting up by this by like start, starting and stopping my walking. You know, that's the way to avoid the slope detection. But when you land on a platform... Oh my god, I got it. Alright, there we go. Okay, that... Took a little bit longer than I would have liked. So we've bypassed the loading zone for this tutorial cutscene. We can come over here and interact with the professor. Uh, this will be a very parasocial interaction, though, because he will not talk to us. He will not even acknowledge our no. presence. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Pay attention to us. Mm. Sir. This is my cat while I'm working. I don't think the Pokemon and, are even and here. That, and that's so indicative of just why the the Eddy Percent route is oh, the way it is. Here. It has to do with the like the cutscene flags. Like, if you don't do everything in the very specific order that is laid out, you just can't advance the game. We could go all the way and talk to Kamado immediately, and he also won't even acknowledge yeah, our so existence. Yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, I mentioned in the beginning that this is going to be kind of a story of, uh, you know, the multiple reasons why these glitches can't help us. If It, w it is possible to go all the way to Kamado's office and, uh, you know, get there. There's nothing stopping us from going to Jubilee Village right now. We're just going to go. And it's way faster to run through it, so that's nice. Hey, the professor makes you walk. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. Okay, there we go. So, right, so uh, here we are in Jubilee Village. We can open the door and run all the way up to the top floor. Literally nobody will interact with us. Not a single person. I mean, you are you are foreign. They made like a big stink about how like, oh, who is this kid? I haven't seen him before. Why are you letting him in the village? If you just come in the village on your own, <laughs> no one will talk to you. Literally. But you think, oh, you think they would I'd be like, like to progress, <laughs> please? You think they would be like, like go away? Not I refuse to. It's you know what? It's very like. It's it's just a very like it's very rude way. It's very passive aggressive way, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best impression intruders. of Kamado. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Spot on. That's pretty good. Yes. Nailing it. Oh, I moved. All right. Now that's the end of that one. So the next glitch, um, I don't know if it has a name, um, but basically, whenever you're on a slope, yeah, you know, we just got really used to slopes in that in that glitch. Um, but whenever you're on a slope and you're sliding down, and but you take damage from a any damage source, uh. Weird things start to happen that I don't really have an explanation for. We can name it here if if you want. I think it's just called hyperspeed or hypersped. I guess is a, a, a more popular. No. no, I'm not learning this anymore. 
Oh man. This one this uh, one um, was the one that is the one that like theoretically could have some actual implications, but it's just like too slow to set up. Yeah, unfortunately it's too slow to set up and Weird Ear is just faster than yeah. hyperspeed. So we'd only use it um, for like day one and two, and then um okay. it's just But there is an RNG element to it. Yeah. Um you're gonna laugh. But these Shinxes need to have Spark or Thundershock, whatever their move is. If they're oh, too low level, like they won't. Attack. <laughs> yeah, because Quick Attack won't work, what I'm trying to do. That looks like it should be high enough, certainly. So first, we got to make the Shinx Angie. Oh, he yeah, I would have preferred a second Shinx, but that's OK. And then we got to wait. Come on, little guy. No, come on. Excuse me. Come on. Come here. I didn't go that far away. Come he got on. bored. They're, they're never this not angry during the run. I know. Right. Oh, oh, he angry. I mean, this is why Shinx have Intimidate. Can I hit him from here? No, I can't. I need you to use the move, buddy. <laughs> Most uh, uncooperative Shinx ever. He has performance anxiety. Be nice. Oh. Come on, little guy. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, Shinx. Does that Thundershock? I don't actually no, know if looks like he's doing the quick attack. Looks like he's just quick animation. attacking. Oh, there's more Shinxes over here. I can find another one. Yeah, this one does unfortunately depend on the Shinx level. That one's level 5. If this one doesn't have it, none of them will. I can lure him all the way over there. There yeah, we there go. Goes. That yeah, looks like a Thundershock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just need to be sliding off the slope as well. Okay, you can come with me a little bit farther before you start. So you, you, know. you can see why we don't use this. Yeah, the fastest I've ever had it set up is 15 seconds, which is still a lot of time. And I was popping off. I was like, oh my god, I got it so fast. But no, that's still not fast enough. All right, come on. <laughs> come on. There we go. There we go. No, I need I to get you, him all the way over here to this corner. I think you might have been a little optimistic about uh, how long this was going to take to show off. Oh no, this is, we're still perfectly on. I, I was expecting the the first glitch to take a little bit longer. Than That's that. fair. Do it. He just Brother. doesn't want to do it. Now you got two shakes. Yeah, so I want him to come shy. here. I want him to come here. So like, does, he, does he have like a, a link, like a, a maximum distance know. he has to be? You have quick attack? If he's quick attack, he can get over here. Brother. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you he got bored for too. Oh my god. Dude, there everybody involved in this area just loves just ignoring people and pretending they don't exist. It's not fair. Okay. Is this like re maybe this released him? This is kind of kind of probably he could probably hit you from there. Yeah, this should work, yeah, right? That should work. Hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully he sees me. Kind of he might be he might be too far now. Oh, there use we a go. different wall? Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yep. There it is. Okay. That wasn't it. It has to be literally while I am sliding down. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you so can this do is a very, it. Oh my god, come here. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Here, buddy. God, I hate Shinx. This game made me hate Shinx <laughs> so much. <laughs> Come on, now's Come your on. chance. You're on the big stage, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna reload the area and get a different Shinx. Like the one that's like the one, the first Look. one I had, um, can be a double spawn. Shinx is just trying to give every more time to hit that milestone. Oh yeah. That's true. In case you all haven't seen, we do have one final milestone at $2.6 million for uh, the Super Mario 3, Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, what is that? It's an exit? One of the exits? Let me see. I have it up here. Yes. No wrong warp run. Excuse me. No wrong warp right, This runs. one's a little we five. Are getting Perfect. Really close. Okay. Or one of these is level five. The one on the right is... You can run a little bit faster than that. Have some initiative. Have they're some, have they're some nervous. Yeah. <laughs> you're, just, you're demanding a lot out of them right now. Oh, they're both okay. quick attackers. 
I'm hoping I can just hit him. Oh, they look like I'm so close to touching them after I'm sliding down. <laughs> I know you have Thundershock, you're trolling. <laughs> <laughs> This was the real glitch all along. The real glitch was the Pokemon not having the move it needs to have. Like he hit me, but yeah. maybe oh, he moved. Stinks. Oh my god! Oh, now he's up here. You don't okay. have to do this with Shinx, by the way. You don't have to, but this is the one setup I know. I'll stop my head. Okay. It missed. Oh, <laughs> <come on. laughs> Okay, okay, you repositioned, cool. repositioned. All right, hold on. Maybe I can, <laughs> I need you to, I need you to cooperate, please. Yep. Uh. You, you'd think, like, you, you thought this, this was really a good uh, ex exhibition, but it's actually just help getting owned by Shanks's. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what, what you just saw for two and a half hours. This is no different. Come on, buddy. This is the same Come thing. On. You know, Corporate no. wants you to find the difference between these two pictures, but they're the same picture. <laughs> All right, nineteenth time. So the this charm. is, um, I believe. Nope, it's bored. Oh, my God. oh man, the Shinx is fired. It's like right next to each other. I'm so close to touching them. Come on, go there. It is. That was it. Nope. Uh. Was it ready? Oh, I got it. There we go. Finally. All oh right. my god. So, yeah. Now we're super sped. Hey. Yeah. Look at how fast you're running. That was ridiculous. So basically it gives us like a double movement, double run speed for like no reason. And obviously it's a very fast glitch to set up. Um, so it would be useful you know, for the first day when running around doing stuff and checkpoints and stuff. Uh, but it gets immediately outclassed by Weirdier when we get it. But it's a really neat glitch that just makes you run really fast. And, um, you know, you have to be careful when you're throwing Pokeballs and stuff, because if you, like, are moving and you um, throw a Pokeball, like, basically, it doesn't count us as being on the ground right now. So that'll make us, like, land, and it'll actually cancel the glitch. So we can't even use it, really, if we were going to do our Beautifly thing, um, because you have to jump off the ledges to get the Shinxes and stuff and get to the Beautiflies. So there's multiple reasons why this doesn't work at any percent. <laughs> I like how many cat owners are in chat just being like, yeah, no. Yeah, no, this is predictable cat behavior. Yeah. <laughs> is that an alpha wormple? My god. Is that the lad? Yeah, catch him. <laughs> I had no idea that little slide while he's throwing Pokeballs in place. I've never seen that before. Like, I, I, I ran That's and I stopped. Never happened. You should catch it and give it to Beauregard. Oh, yeah, give him an alpha wormple. Yeah, um, the first side quest you can take in this game. Um, you know, ask for a Wurmple, and the Wurmple will actually have all the properties of the one that you gave it to, gave him uh, for the rest of the game. Including if you give him a shiny. I'm really bad at catching it. Anyways, that's the end of that one. Um, but, you know, I have one more glitch to show as we're closing out here. Um, yeah, this game, I just think it's so much, uh, you know, so greatly different from any other Pokemon speedrun that it does just deserve a bigger runner base than it currently has. So if you liked what you saw here today and you know, you're interested in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I highly implore you to you know, check out all the resources on the speedrun.com page and just give this game a try, even if it's just all Lords, because all Lords is one of the most popular category extensions. And I understand people may not have four hours or plus four hours to do any percent. So. All right, so for the final glitch, we're going to go to Alabaster Icelands. And this one does not help with the speedrun. It's just really, really, really funny. Oh, these were my last two catches before doing Arceus. You made some new but he might tell me. Okay, good. Um, normally, he has a cutscene that's like a minute where he's like, you've completed your Pokedex. Now, the only thing left to do is to go up there. But it doesn't actually start until you've fought Volo. And that file, I didn't save after I beat Volo, so he, I still haven't fought Volo. <laughs> he doesn't bother me about that. Okay. So, last thing here. Uh, this is the Pearl Sediment, and Arita's here. 
Um, oh, this one's good. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, you know, just thank you for you know supporting GDQ. Thank you for supporting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Um, I'm just I'm just struggling to find the right words right now. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any uh, commentators, you guys have anything to plug, anything to say? Follow Halkery. He's sick. May. Anything uh, to plug? Aren't you doing a typing adventure for Frost Fatales? Next I will month? be doing Pokemon typing adventure for, or learn with Pokemon typing adventure for Frost Fatales. So come check mm -hmm. out that and the rest of the Frost Fatales event. I'll be on couch for like eight hours. Uh, I'm commentating a lot. Um, I. What? Reality is tearing itself asunder. What? Wait. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, Keys, what's happening? To promote? Uh, batch. We're doing, hey, we're doing uh, plugs. Tune I've done in, this. I love this glitch. <laughs> tune in uh, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern for the first step with me and Jay Humps. That's that's really and and Hotfix in general. Yeah. Don't Hot forget that there's there's content on this channel past the mainline events every weekday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Every weekend, 1 p.m. Eastern. There's GDQ yeah, Hotfix got, shows. Uh, it got dark. Check out um. It's really. Check out my show, Think Fast, the speedrunning game show. Okay? The speedrunning trivia oh, okay. game they're show fine. every they're other fine. Saturday. Wait, oh, they're fine. Okay. Anyways, um, but yeah, thank you for having me. Games done quick. And uh, enjoy Mario 3. Congratulations again to Halkari. Oh my gosh, so fun. And again, I've seen that last glitch before. It's actually something that's very doable. You can see you just run around um, Irida the whole time. It's really cool. You can go do it yourself. Go get a copy of the game, do it yourself. Maybe learn the speed run while you're at it. Join the community. You can see it's all a bunch of goofy, fun people. So, uh, you know, get a part of that. I cannot believe we're almost at the end of the marathon. I cannot believe it. What I can believe is that you all are absolutely incredible. We have raised over $2.5 million for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So I just want to say another quick thank you for that. You all are seriously incredible. And uh, we could almost hit that 2.6. If we hit the 2.6, we can get that um, bonus Super Mario Bros. 3 and you percent no wrong warp run. So we could definitely make that happen. It would be super, super cool. Um, so excited for the run. Regardless, it's coming up soon. Oh, man, you all are the best. <laughs> we can get in a few donations while we are um, setting up for the next thing. Alrighty, then we have... <laughs> Look, it's never over. It's never over, chat. $9.40 from Snoring Frog, who says... Got to donate for my favorite Pokemon to say, Genjar. Don't you all love, Che, you all love Genjar, right? And then <laughs> $722 had come in from Ben to say $722 for my Hisawayan starter, Rule. And when I first read that, I was like, what Pokemon are they talking about? It took me like a few seconds to actually understand which one they meant. So funny. Oh my goodness, it's been such a pleasure. Let's take a quick moment before we get into our recap and our last run of the evening. Everybody stretch, make sure you hydrate. Hopefully you all didn't get lightheaded as well. Maybe just me, just me when I did the Poké Wrap. Okay, um, take a quick break. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere. We have m more GDQ coming up.
All right, just want to talk um, for a moment about Running With Speed. This is the definitive speedrunning documentary. This will be narrated by the YouTube legend Summoning Salt. It features the world's top speedrunners and the GDQ community. I remember when they were filming this, actually. <laughs> Plus, $1 per purchase of this goes to charity during AGDQ. So you still have a little bit of time left if you want to check out this documentary. You can find out more by going to runningwithspeed.com. All right, everyone. Oh, this has been such, such a pleasure. Let's get in one last donation from me. Um, well, from you all. I'll just read it aloud for you. <laughs> all right, we are going to do $150 from Bird of Mayhem, who says another HGDQ is coming to an end, and I'm already looking forward to SGDQ. Me too. Huge thanks to the runners, the GDQ crew, and to each and every one of you who has donated. Cancer has touched so many of our lives. I'm so thankful for research in this field because my wife and my father are both survivors. Let's keep giving and keep pushing down this final stretch. And with that, I am going to be signing off for the evening. I've had so much fun being with you all this event from the pre-show to the interviews, recaps, hosting. It's one of my absolute favorite times of the year. And I just can't say enough how thankful I am to be a part of this and to have you all here as well, donating, supporting, being so supportive of each other. It's incredible. So thank you all so much. Have a wonderful um, event recap and last run of the marathon. And we'll definitely see you again for SGDQ, SGDQ coming up soon. I'm going to hand it off to the recap now. Take it away, Sent Hobbs and Mike. Thank you so much for that, Foo. And hello, everyone. Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick Online 2023. My name is Sent, and I'm joined with a bit of a different crew uh, <laughs> this afternoon. We've got interview lead Jay Hobbs and a familiar face, hopefully, for everyone. <laughs> Mike Uyama, <laughs> founder hello, of everyone. Games Done Quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, it has been a week. <laughs> we, are, <laughs> we are here at the end of the week, folks. Uh, and as always, we like to just kind of have a little chat with you all yep. about how things have got, have been going, how things went, uh, and where, uh, where certain individuals may be all going right. from here. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. So um, one thing that I would like to say before we get into the chat is that, um, you know, we have a couple members of GDQ uh, who... Uh, haven't been able to attend this event. Uh, Matt, if you're watching this, you know, I hope you just get some rest and take it easy. If you're watching this, go to bed. Go, 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 to, sleep. Sleep. go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Worm, uh, thank you for all the work that you've done in the event, and I hope you recover quickly. Yeah. Well, uh, we just wanted to talk a little bit about kind of how things have gone. I mean, yeah. uh, you kind of alluded to it there, but we were a little kind of short-staffed this week, and yet I think things have gone like pretty smoothly, which kind of... Uh, talks to, to a lot of the improvements that we made over time. How, how have you seen uh, this whole event grow? <laughs> Honestly, I would agree with you. Like, I feel like, you know, despite all the setbacks, you know, that happened, like, I feel like we put on a really good and smooth event. Like, you know. Hopefully none of you knew there were <laughs> any setbacks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're, we're letting you know about them for the first time. Exactly. Hopefully you couldn't tell if we did our jobs right. <laughs> uh, Mike, you, uh, it is your last GDQ. Yes. Yeah, it's your it last is. GDQ. Uh, so we thought it was only right for you to join us here and uh, and and chat and whatnot. And uh, we always like to dig into some some stats and yep. stuff as what, well. But what the cool donations were, mm -hmm. where they're coming from. Yep, you yep. know, we know you got that info. I do. So first, I'm going to focus on chat and the moat and the five most common emotes were the GDQ clap. You all love to applause for, for the runs, and we appreciate it. Uh, GDQ timer which says time in the emo. <laughs> it's a bit of irony. <laughs> because y'all love to declare time. GDQ spin, 
because I'm sure you love Sonic Spinball as much as Matt does. <laughs> <laughs> GDQ Heart, because you all got a love, lot of love in your hearts. And uh, GDQ Dance, because you just love to groove. What can I say? A lot, you know, of, a lot of bangers. But probably the, uh, not coincidentally. I think those are all emotes that make a reaction on our virtual chat over at uh, GamesDoneQuick.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Might be a reason there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, also, you, mu- you might have been seeing this uh, word called airboat. You know, it even won a few bid wars. Um, it was said uh, 4,490 times. Uh the word was said 2,900 times. The emote was said 1,600 times. And you might be like, wait, I thought I saw way more than that. Well, that's only counting when it occurred in a message, not how many times it occurred in oh, oh, oh. Oh. So multiply that by about 12, <laughs> exactly. at least. Minimum. <laughs> there, there were a lot of air boats. And uh, speaking of memes... That's beans. And uh, if you want to know how many beans there were, there were 2,000 messages with beans. So that's not, that's not just beans. That's a lot of beans. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of beans. <laughs> uh, also, um, our busiest moment was when we hit the 2 million and we had 500 messages per minute in chat. So that's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a lot of people. That's incredible. So it's a lot of people talking. We love you, chat. And uh, yeah, so also um, we do have some uh, donation statistics. Um, the top five countries in terms of donation amount are the USA, Canada, greetings from Germany. There we go. <laughs> uh, Britain and uh, France. So uh, shout out to Lay French Restream. Thank you all. And uh, the most common amount donated was $25 at a... Uh, 10,838 times, which makes for a total of $270,950. And wow. Uh, wow. then $50, which was uh, 8,995 times. And that makes for a total of $449,750. Uh, uh, so like for anyone, <laughs> you know, like we, you know, we're always like, wow, you know, the big, big don't, Donations, but honestly, like even, you know, the, the more modest donations, that's what really, you know, drive this event. So whenever it's we very helpful. Whenever we say that like every five dollar donation matters, like that's how. Yeah, right? they, exactly. You, they it, really add up. It, it absolutely eight thousand fifty dollar <laughs> donations. That's that's <laughs> yeah. mind blowing. Yeah. That's yeah, unbelievable. Near, nearly nine thousand. And I got these stats about hour ago, yeah, so, so it's, it's probably, probably <laughs> a little, little bit different now. <laughs> probably gone up a bit. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and while many donations had a message, uh, 21,053 to be exact, we had many donations without a message, uh, fif- a little over 15,000. So, uh, you know, f- for all you silent lurker donors out there, we appreciate you. <laughs> you, you do definitely make it. I mean, that's almost a 50-50 split right yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah. like it's, it's solid 60-40 none. or something. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's like really good. That, that, is, that is a lot. Yeah. Well, uh, Mike, it is, as we talked about, it is your last event. So I... I don't know. We just wanted to kind of like check in on on you, like how what 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 are what are you doing after this? You look like you're ready for uh, to go out fishing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're putting Mike on a boat. Everyone's yeah. gonna be fine. I, I mean, the, the, the yacht is finally happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one got a laugh out of some of the production staff. Here. <laughs> I'm getting some nose from the camera. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, um, I don't know what exactly i'm going to pursue next but i do know that i need a break and i do plan on taking a vacation uh fairly soon after this event probably in the early spring um because you know as much as i've loved working at gdq over the years you know i haven't really taken much of a break in the past Oh, I don't know how many years. 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I could definitely use one. Well, for sure. Yeah, I, I, and I, I wanted to ask, like, I think it's a pretty common to ask, you know, when you started this whole thing out, did you did you have any idea that it would, like, go this far? But really what I'm curious about is, about is as you watched things evolve over the years, when did it have that turning moment of, like, this thing has momentum? If, if, I, if I can add an addendum to Hobbs' sure. question even. Um, I mean, Mike, you're, you're living the dream. You literally started a household name event in your basement, <laughs> yeah. your mother's basement, but but in your basement. At what point did you realize, like, that GDQ had blown up to that yeah, level, yeah. too? Um, I think 
I started realizing it around 2013 to 2014 because, you know, before then, you know, like I remember talking to the Prevent Cancer Foundation before AGQ 2013. And, you know, basically our first AGQ raised about $53,000 for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. AGQ 2012 was around 145 to 150,000. And then I remember talking to the foundation saying like, you know, it's tripled, you know, like, you know, like, um, you know, from year to year, but, you know, I think this is the year that's not <laughs> going to triple. And then of course, you know, at the end of HQ 2013, it, you know, raised something like $448,000. So it's like, oh, it did triple. <laughs> and then it was like, you know, these events are like, you know, taking more and more of my time and everything. It's just like, I just realized like, hey, you know, like I have to kind of rethink, you know, how this works and like either, you know, I could, you know, possibly burn out doing this or I could maybe turn this into a career of sorts. And fortunately, I was able to turn it into a career. So that's very awesome. fortunate. <laughs> that is Absolutely fantastic. And thank you for bringing so many of us into the fold, uh, whether it be from people just showing up and sleeping under tables to make things happen. <laughs> handing them a, a staff badge. I, I, I feel not attacked. I've, I've done it. <laughs> but now also to the point where we are pretty pretty adamant that that doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> like no. I, the, I definitely like, get proper sleep. Yeah, you know, yeah. and getting it to the point where, yes, yeah, so we can we could you know, some people that are very critical people to the team can potentially not make it and we're still able to, to put this whole shindig on, you know, and, and still raise a bunch of money. It's, it really is unbelievable. And uh, I'm glad that I've been able to be, be a small part of it my, myself for, uh, for a good chunk of it. So thank you so much for, yeah. <laughs> for starting the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, if you asked me way back in 2010, if, you know, like, would you expect expect this event to grow so much or like, you know, it, it would, you know, go past like maybe a hundred thousand, raising a hundred thousand dollars for charity. I'd be like, I just laugh at you. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> like, are you kidding? Like maybe a few words I can't say on stream. <laughs> but it's like, ha ha. It's a joke. <laughs> uh, well, sent. do you think it's time? I think I think I, it's time. You know, yeah. we 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 put out a social media question we earlier, did, Mike. We, okay. and, uh, we didn't you know, tell Mike about we, this. We did. Oh. We we told oh. Mike that you know we were going to have social media ask some questions, oh, wait, but that uh, much I knew. We, <laughs> We, we, we lied. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we did was we reached out to everyone on Twitter as well as everyone on our staff and as many volunteers as I could get a hold of. And we asked them all to send in their favorite memory of you, Mike. And we just, <laughs> we wanted to put some up on the stream because, you know, there really have been some absolutely great uh, memories from the whole community for yeah. you. Uh, I mean, we could jump right into at the Shiriko saying super highline. Uh, I still <laughs> yeah. do. The, it's a joke, but sometimes we, I think what we're going to do with this as well is we might just let some of them kind of play through on, yeah, on stream. Yeah. We're not going to read every single one because right. so many people yeah, are so had many. such amazing messages for you. The, the Febreze beaver tail incident. <laughs> oh, I don't even think I know oh, that wow. one. That's, that's what I'd rather. <laughs> we probably shouldn't okay. talk about that one on stream. <laughs> Um, and sure. I, I have, I do have one here from uh, LOK that I did actually want to read out to you. I should have bookmarked this in Slack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise I'm not just messing with my phone for no reason. So Sen did say before this segment that he was going to do this entire segment looking at, at his phone. And he's living up to the promise. So if you've ever wondered about what our mental state is about the end of this week, just watch every event recap because they always go this way. <laughs> We, we this, this is our hashtag unfiltered kind of <laughs> moment for all of you out there to see uh, just how uh, yeah <laughs> kind of how broken we are at the end of the week, but yep. in a really good way. It's always super satisfying to put on these events and and uh, and fix problems along the way. Very tired. I'm as Mike can attest by wanting to take a vacation. It's, <laughs> it's very tiring. Uh, I, I've got it here. Uh, so from LLK, Mike, uh, she wanted to say, uh, Mike and I talked so much about the super hydlide rod. We had meticulously laid out plan uh, every individual signs that collectively spelled out lucky and a blue sign that read, it's a joke in sparkling paint. <laughs> It, it seems simple, but we discussed it for a long time. And when I handed the lucky signs to the audience, I told them they were going to be part of the memes, and it totally made their night. Mike even autographed the signs for them, uh, making them, you know, perfect GDQ souvenirs. 
He, he may have been the boss, but he never lost his love of goofing around and just talking to fellow indetentees. You know, thank you for everything, Mike. All right, thank you. I mean, I've just always thought that, you know, even though I'm the founder of GDQ and everything, I've never thought that was above everyone. And, you know, it's all like the donors, the viewers, the volunteers, just everyone that makes this event happen. Yeah. Uh, if I could share, I have two favorite moments with Mike. And one was when I first met you, uh, which was in uh, the arcade playing pinball. Uh, oh, yeah, we had yeah, yeah. we had the Black Knight uh, 2000 <laughs> machine, of course, of course. And uh, just... Like I just walked up to this machine. I was just uh, playing stuff. You you walked up and you were like, "Oh, this you know cool machine, right? Isn't it really fun?" And I was just like, "You're Mike Uyama." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, "Yeah, hi, how's it going?" <laughs> and just being yeah, very down to earth. And then uh, of course, as I as I always bring up, uh, love your your karaoke prowess. <laughs> oh. And uh, not not did not happen at an event specifically right. um, off site, but uh, just getting to hear. Here you sing "Welcome to the Jungle" by Guns oh, N' oh, Roses. Was, Mike's "Welcome to the Jungle" is actually <laughs> it really is, good. It is legendary. It is fun. I will treasure that forever, and it better not be the last time I hear it because you better be uh, coming I, back. I, I don't out. think it'll be the last. I'll, time I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll piggyback one off of that, Hops. I remember AGDQ 2014. We were in this little hotel. It was the first time we had stepped oh, out of the 4H yeah, yeah. Center. Um, and the casual room was right next to the elevators. Oh. And so was my hotel room, four stories up. <laughs> and in the middle of the night, out of nowhere, I just hear, don't stop believing! <laughs> Coming out of the elevator shaft. And it's Mike Uyama doing rock band karaoke. And it has stuck with me forever. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Four stories up from the casual room. I just hear you singing. And it, it was great. Oh. It was a good time. And the other thing I think that's always going to stick with me, Mike, is AGDQ 13, uh, the Toki race that you did. <laughs> <laughs> Mike did a Toki race in the casual room with a few people. And about halfway through the race, Mike takes a warp uh, and then puts his controller down pulls out the chair from the table, lies down <laughs> under the table, and tells everyone around him, okay, so tell me when the other racers get to this stage, I'm taking a nap. Proceeds to take a nap for like 30 minutes, wakes up and wins the race. And that is just peak Uyama. <laughs> Oh my! It was God. like six or seven a.m. at that point. I think I was up all night. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. Well, so many memories. As yeah. as we can see, they're still happening. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to go back and watch all this later uh, to to actually oh. catch everything because this is absolutely absurd. Thank you all so much for sharing these memories uh, of Mike and of just these fantastic moments. But. Uh, you always made it about the charity as well, of back from the very first event, uh, you know, all the way through, and always been, it just so I've I've always been so impressed by the the sheer number of dollars that have been raised over time, but also just the commitment of the organization as led by you to always be focused on like we are we're here to raise money for such great causes, and we care a lot about knowing about those causes and about uh, and just continuing to make that a big focus for it. So. In terms of that, uh, shall we talk about some of the prizes that you all yeah, can potentially yeah. win if you donate prizes. to this charity? I, I, I think we absolutely have to <laughs> because you know what? We've got the final run coming up next. But if you know anything about GDQ structure, you know that I've always got at least one more prize to talk Ooh. about. And there are so many great prizes that are already available to donate. If you haven't gotten in a 25 a 50 or a $100 donation today, you absolutely should because there are so many incredible prizes that you will be entered for. I think there's literally like 20 or 30 of them <laughs> oh, wow. available right now. But you can head over to gamesdonequick.com to find all the info on those. What I want to talk about is a Super Mario Super Bundle, which comes with a ton of Mario, Zelda, and a little bit of Donkey Kong uh, themed prizes in it for a $25 minimum donation oh, wow. from several incredible donors. Oh. First off, from my good friend, Mr. Ed Nigma, we have a hand-knitted Amigurumi Thwomp King, uh, including... Oh, uh, that's the, great. The little, like, bandage and cracks on the back. <laughs> and actually, Hobbs, here, you want to you yeah. hold it? He's... He's it's weighty. Got, yeah, ooh, he's, he's, he's full ooh. of like little beads so yeah, that he's actually got some, got some heft. 
Yeah, you know, give him, give him the <laughs> <oompa. Yeah. Donk. laughs> I love it. It's absolutely so good. But that's not all you're going to get if you win that prize because from our friend Sky Berkson, who is an absolute master of crafting things purely out of paper, we have this lovely Kong house here uh, available for you. Um, as as seen in the pre-show. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's so it's so cool. This was my storefront for the pre-show. Uh, Mike, I'm going to need you to hold this for one second. Look at that, though. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, this is somehow done out of paper. How do you do it? I'm not entirely sure, <laughs> but it's fantastic. There are a ton of more little Mario-themed prizes that go along with these two for a $25 minimum donation, but I'm just going to bring out the absolute best part of it here because you know what? I'm also going to throw in a Hylian shield from our friends over at Heroic Replicas. You know, before the event, I was talking to Dave and I was like, Dave, it's it's cool. I actually still have a Hylian shield to use as a display model. Dave was like, nah, I'm going to send you the newest model. Don't even worry about it. So you know what? $25 minimum donation, you could win that lovely Thwomp. You could win that lovely DK storefront. You could win a bunch of other super cool things, including a Mario blanket. And you could get half of one of our grand prizes, wow. this Hylian wow. Shield, all for a $25 minimum donation available from now until the end of the marathon. Get your donations in for them. You definitely want to. And you want to get your donations in to meet our new milestone incentive, right, Mike? Uh, that is true. Uh, if we hit... Uh, uh, Two point six million dollars by the end of Super Mario Brothers Three. Uh, Mitch Flower Power will do a bonus glitched any percent run. Oh, that's such a fun one too. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean you might have seen it on the uh, Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Yeah, you could see it on the Late Show with AGDQ. <laughs> the, the Late Late Show. <laughs> but, uh, no hot pocket race included. <laughs> Ooh, that's true. It's still going to be an absolutely fantastic showcase. We all want to make that happen. We know it can absolutely still happen. Uh, but for the moment, I think that's going to do. Just about it for us, right, guys? I think so. We'll hear a little bit more from uh, from Mike at the end, but uh, thanks yep. so much again, Mike, for for all you've done through the years and for uh, for being on here and sharing some memories with yep. us. Yeah. Mike, ha having you know been with GDQ for a decade now, thank you so much for taking a chance on a on a random kid who knew how to put things in boxes. It's, <laughs> you know, you you said you've made a career out of it, but you've made a career out of this for so so many people, and you've changed so many lives, whether you know it or not. Then you do so much more than <laughs> things out of boxes. Director I mean, of logistics. You, <laughs> <laughs> I have been more to say I'm the director of logistics. But uh in all seriousness then, you know, I know you're sometimes like my talent is, you know, sticking with a bit or doing things badly, but really you just have this energy and charisma about you and just th this energy about you that like really can't be replicated and you always give your all. Um, each GDQ event. And I only wish from you that you could be a little bit easier on yourself because uh, you, you're you're real, uh, not just an asset to the company, but just valuable to everyone around you. That, that means a lot coming from you, Mike. Thank you. And I promise in the future, I will make a concentrated effort to actually look at the camera. <laughs> But that's it. We're, we're okay. okay. That's we're it. We're, we're, we're out of here now. Send we're it back up to the front. From the cameraman. <laughs> Get ready for SMB3. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Anonymous donates $250 saying, AGDQ hype. Thank you, Mike. Love y'all. Anon donates $50 saying 2.6 million for Super Mike. Adam Ovsharek donates $250 saying, Speedrunning is part of the reason I got my job in Games QA years ago. Today I am the QA manager for multiple AAA titles and I am able to donate in these hard times for such an amazing cause. Thank you so much to the staff, sponsors, partners, event organizers, tech crew, donation readers, chat moderators, the dedicated runners, and I am certain I forgot other crucial folks for another wonderful event. Special thanks to Mike Oyama for starting all of this. Best wishes in your future endeavors. $25 from Marco CG, who says Super Mario 3 run. Let's -a go, Mitch. And I believe I just have been given the green light, folks. Here is your awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online finale Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers 3, Warpless with Mitch Flower Power. Good luck and have fun, Mitch. You got this. All right, we'll read a few more donations here. We have $25 from Shy Ranger who says, fine scent that Super Mario prize pack, maybe donate one more time. FES Falcon donates $50 saying AGDQ was amazing this year and made for great background noise during the work week. So many VODs to watch. Thanks to all the runners, staff, and volunteers. Time to watch Mitch go fast to finish it off. Princess Neko Cakes donates $25 saying, don't be sad that AGDQ 2023 is ending. Be happy that it happened. Thank you for everything, Mike, and good luck to you. All right, I do believe we are ready now, so let's do a more proper intro with the correct Mario game this time. Super Mario Brothers 3, any percent worthless, Mitch Flower Power for your AGDQ 2023 online finale. Take it away, good luck and have fun, Mitch. <laughs> 